But something happened on the way to the 20th century. The profound, the inspiring, and the beautiful were replaced by the new, the different, and the ugly. Today, the silly, the pointless, and the purely offensive are held up as the best of modern art. It is they who champion graffiti and call it genius, promote the scatological and call it meaningful. It is they who, in reality, are the naked emperors of art. For who else would spend $10 million on a rock and think it is art? Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I am the best guy ever. Uh, I am French. Uh, today, we're joined by uh, Lethal Aurora Mage. I'm first again, but this time, I'm the best. First is the worst. No. Oh, best. wait, I said that last time. Yes. Ba- oh, oh, well, okay, debunked. Uh, the Davu is here. This podcast emanates rich textures of aura, of satisfaction, of the authority. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Tom, Oliver. Tom Oliver. I just got here. flashbacks to my art history courses and I wanted to vomit all over my expensive oh, right. microphone. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. It would have made art. Yeah. Oh, clearly. it would have looked like a like a Pollock. Uh Ben Saint. <laughs> I'm here. I'm back. With a vengeance, <laughs> indeed. I missed uh, one and, episode, uh, and I wanted, and it, and it ruined my whole life. <laughs> yeah, my streak is that. broken. Uh, and Munchie. Topics here. by committee rhymes with shitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, that's uh, all right, everybody. Commentary right there. A- as you, as you might be able to tell. Uh, let's get right down to it. Our topic for today is Monsters 2, everybody. Yeah. Here we go. You've been waiting for it. It's the big one. It's the big one. Uh, that No, that was a joke. That was art in itself. Postmodern art. It was meant to highlight how ignorant and stupid you, the masses, are mm. for loving that so much. Uh, mm. it's, it's postmodernism, modern art, but mostly postmodern art. That's what it is. And to get down to the heart of the matter, what do you got for us? Urban Dictionary. Wait, wait, wait. Before we read from the Urban Dictionary, um, okay. I'd like to read from Urban Dictionary Occult Edition at, <laughs> at, at, at forum.becomealivinggod.com oh, slash yeah. T slash Urban Dictionary dash occult dash edition slash 34096. Uh, however, I cannot because there are only two entries. One is for Yahweh and the other is mm. for God. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'll have to defer to you on this one after all, I guess. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, let's see what we got as our backup here. Okay, Urban Dictionary. <clears throat> Postmodernism. A term that you keep on hearing about in college and have to look up on Wikipedia. Basically says, fuck it, to the search for any intellectual conclusions. Oh my god. It's yeah. actually a more complete definition than I thought. I, that's, that's actually not, not terrible. That makes, that's, so, that's the worst thing I've ever had read to me. Well, uh, <laughs> alright, that, that was, okay, that that was definition two. Here's the top definition. Postmodernism is the ultimate lubricant invented by social sciences in order to fuck every concept and structure that humans ever came up with. At the same time, it is used as a means for social sciences to penetrate one another. <laughs> what the what, fuck what, does any that, of that that's mean? That's, you have to be what? to dislike modern art. What kind of person do you have to be? You have to be some sort of conserve a god or, or uncock well, a god. We, well, I think postmodernism extends us. beyond just art. It's like a whole mindset and philosophy. That article, that article sounds like it was written mm-hmm. by maybe like an ex professor, but who had like a drug problem or something, and no, like completely just, fried no, his brain. That guy was that, the who wrote no, no, that. No, but he's definitely... like he's like completely he's like completely burned out after he lost his tenure, and he's like a shell sure. of his former self. And he can barely like string a sentence together. He's definitely never lifted a pencil in their life. <laughs> he's definitely watched a lot of Jordan Peterson. That's that sounds like the guy. Who... <laughs> I think I think you're right. About, hey, listen, okay, but it behooves us because po- postmodernism and postmodern art exists as a response to modern art, saying like "fuck that shit, dude." Doesn't even it's not even real. Uh, so let me just read the definition of modern art as well. All right, Urban Dictionary: Modern art, a synonym. For bullshit. (laughs) 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 
<laughs> All right, uh, it's act there's actually nothing useful for modern art and urban dictionary. So let me actually just read like the first sentence on the Wikipedia page because that's actually much much more helpful. So modern art includes artistic work produced during the period extended from blah 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 the six the 1860s the 70s 1970s and denotes the style and philosophy of the art produced from that era. The term is usually associated with art in which the traditions of the past have been thrown aside in the spirit of experimentation. And it shows like right. uh, uh, some Van Gogh Starry Night type stuff, which is very Right. Ooh, so the, the what heart of what I intend to talk about is mm. those scribble paintings, like we were referencing Jackson Pollock. If you don't know what we're oh, talking boy. about, Google yeah. Image search that. And also, oh, what's Show his notes. name? Uh, Show notes. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Also, the, the painter guy who paints just like painterly squares of various colors, whose name always escapes me. Just search oh, like red. He, wasn't he in the Velvet Underground? What's his name? <laughs> no, uh, not that. Not that Andy guy? Warhol. Are you talking about uh, that Andy painting? Warhol. No, no. Are you talking about that painting that's like, it's like white and it has a bunch of black lines forming squares and some of the squares oh, are like red and some are that's yellow? What, that's what I blue. did on my best appearance in the Drawcast oh, yeah. when I drew Modern Art. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That guy. So that's kind of the heart of Link what we're to here to talk about and the reaction to it. Now, I'm just going to like come right out with what I think is mm -hmm. the crux of the problem, which is the criticism and analysis of modern art remaining mm -hmm. so rigid, traditionalist, and classical. See, it's the reason why people often don't take it seriously when a professor comes up and tells you about how such and such painting subverts the idea of, of art and subverts the idea of the establishment and authority. The reason why people don't take that seriously is that it's coming from a professor, a guy who went to college, has tenure, works in the system, and talks like the system. And this is where <laughs> modern art breaks down for me, is when that, because like, I, I was like in a waiting room recently that had a bunch of modern art books, and I would always pick mm -hmm. them up and think the images look cool, and then I want to read some analysis of it. So I go over to the paragraphs, and I start reading, and this is where my eyes start rolling like a fucking tumble dryer, because it's trying <laughs> to describe like postmodern art, it's trying to describe subversiveness, it's trying to describe uh, like, like this escape from the traditionalist structures by very traditionally explaining it in a very literary way, and it doesn't work. When you try to employ this sort of tangible literary analysis to non-tangible inspired art, you end up with a bunch of vague sentences, like what triggered Tom at the beginning of, of me introducing myself, where they try to be like, oh, it has this texture that implies this feeling of this idea, right? Like, we're, it's like you're trying to analyze modern art the same way we analyze classical art, where a lot of paintings were of, like, actual things, and, and paintings were inspired by Bible or other ideologies, very explicitly so. So you could actually describe what the paintings actually are very, like, factually, and then we get all these paintings that aren't supposed to mean anything technically, and yet the analysts and the critics think they're still supposed to describe them in these tangible words, and it just becomes really stupid and misses the point and makes the average consumer miss the point of the whole goddamn movement. I got one response to all that. It's gonna be a meme. Devu. It's gonna be a joke. It is. Where are the fucking memes? <laughs> where are they? Where? Uh, right. Well, there wasn't well, any was, memes in there. I was looking for some memes. I, I, I was browsing the uh, the becomealivinggod.com forums as I often do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so I'm searching for modern art, and I, unfortunately, I can't find any topics about modern art. So I broadened my search to just art, and unfortunately. It, Poor results. The best thing I could find is this top is this uh, uh, thread on the topic of is it possible to learn martial arts from a demon? Um, the jur the jury's still out. <laughs> the jury's out on it, oh, so I'm afraid excellent. that the uh -huh. become a living god dot com has failed for the first time in history. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, uh, that sucks. Um, I, wait, wait, wait. I Actually, people... I have something to say that's relevant. Also, mm. Um, mm. there is a great, <laughs> there is a great uh, video. It is by the Art Assignment. Uh, you guys have ever seen the Art Assignment? Yeah. You know? No, I have not. Okay, well, it's a, it's a YouTube series. It's like I think it, I think it might be John Green's wife or something or someone that John Green knows. I think it might. Well, be it's his by wife. PBS Digital Studios. Yeah, but it's it's the video it's called like... I Could Do That. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. That's the mm. one. Right. Okay. That's the right. One. So and, okay, I haven't, yeah. I haven't, I haven't watched. Don't co-op my topic. Um, I, I haven't watched it in a while. <laughs> um, but it's about. She's talking about how people say that, like, you know, you look at a Jackson Pollock or a fucking drawing of squares or a toilet in a museum, and you're like, I could do that. Anyone could do that. 
and mm-hmm. you know the the answer is like well sure you could but you didn't like and right. like it doesn't matter like whether you could replicate it I said this just the other day in like a completely different con. We were talking about business and entrepreneurs, and I guess it's the same for yeah. art. It doesn't fucking mm. matter if you could replicate the exact product that someone has made, which you probably couldn't if you think so. But even if you could, right. it doesn't matter because mm-hmm. the point is that right. you didn't. And the point of this art was that it was made in this context, and the context yeah. is what makes art meaningful. Even if you did it perfectly and you did in fact just recreate it, well then that's good. How does that make the art not good? The artist does not claim that he is a god for making this piece of art. He wants to communicate an idea or a statement. Yeah, and right. And you just Plus, would have like, done something similar. Like like take for example like photography. Like uh, photography <coughs> is generally considered an art, right? Yeah. Uh, and at least I, you know, I guess it depends. But like, nah. I, I, I mean, f- f- for example, like I, I just <laughs> yes. watched uh, Digi's new video on Fooly Cooly a little while ago, and that was fine. Uh, but like, uh, there, there, like, there's a moment in there where Mamimi, of course, is this photographer, and just at the at the last episode, there's a, there's a moment where like Nauta, in like all these crazy events that have happened, Nauta does his iconic standing on the rubble holding Haruko's uh, base. Oh great! And she takes the picture from behind. Oh great! He did. And he does it again. He does no. What do you, no, no. This isn't the new Fooly Cooly. Uh, this is the, he's talking about the original. Oh, okay. Show. I haven't seen the new. Yeah, Fooly no. He just does it I again. I thought you were he saying just that they just again. did it again. <laughs> no, no, no. This is about the original. Even though the okay. new ones are out, which I should we should watch those at some point. Um, uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah. I mean, just for, I guess just I guess I, have, no, I, guess I have no choice. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh. The point I was getting at was like, okay, so so Mamimi takes that picture, and like, no, Mamimi did not like craft the entire situation to like generate all the artistry that's in that picture of like this ruined city of like a boy standing hopefully on this hill, looking at his lost love and holding her base and whatnot, remembering her. But like, mm-hmm. she did capture that moment in it's, her art. Okay. In her okay. Photo. Yeah. Yeah. The the like the important thing there is that is that it was the image is curated right like the image is yes, like what to, what to include in this like, image like M- mimi probably took like a thousand pictures and she chose to show this one yeah because it's the best most Which, meaningful like That's, when people when people know. talk about writing like writing is the mm-hmm. same like like the act of mm-hmm. writing i think mr i think this might be a mr b tongue quote but he's not the only one who said it. it's like it's like the act of writing is the act of mm-hmm. like creative exclusion yeah selective exclusion right. to yeah. separate signal from noise you have yeah separate signal mm-hmm. from noise because you have a character and you have you know you in your mind if you know if you're most if most authors probably have like if not a full idea but at least some idea of this character's like entire life story right and mm-hmm. this character mm-hmm. has theoretically yeah. lived an entire life full of shit that could be remarked upon. But you, as the author, you are, like, selecting, like, wh- where do I begin the story, thereby cutting off everything beforehand? You know, what do I show? Or what do I describe? What do I choose not to describe? And that's what you build your story out of. And, like, photography is the mm-hmm. same. Uh, you're, you're, you might, yeah, you might not have created it, but you are still doing this, this selective exclusion of, like, I won't take pictures of these things. I will take pictures of this because, like, my aesthetic sense tells me that this is a well-composed image and, it, and you know, it, it also, means what such and such. Part of it, I think, uh, behind this mindset is, like, human jealousy in a way because when people say, oh, I could have done that and, you know, I, I yeah. would have been successful, I would have earned the money. Like, mm. I'm not saying, like, it, it, people are bad for being jealous. It's natural. People are just naturally jealous of things. Like, they even did, like, a test i think with kids like uh hold on it's not very relevant it's a long story but basically uh people Mm -hmm. prefer to rather than have someone else have more things to that both of them not have at all like you know right yeah Yeah, that's a thing Mm -hmm. that's a thing Mm -hmm. yeah so it's people are very sensitive to inequality you know justified or not it makes them makes them yeah and like because this idea exists like oh i have i possess the skill level that this person does but they're Earning like they're banking off of the off of the skill a lot more than I could ever. You know, I if I never right. thought about doing this well, and this, it feels like yeah. like injustice in a way. Yeah, and you know, I think mm. that's yeah that that's definitely a thing. It's like reputation is where the value in art comes from, which is another video by the art assignment. They they bring up that like. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the reputation of specific artists, right, is yeah. what actually drives the prices. But here's the thing. That is also the case in other mediums, such as live performance music. It costs, like, $600 for a ticket to the Rolling Stones or Paul McCartney or other mm-hmm. such baby mm-hmm. boomer era fucking bands that have been around for 40 years because their baby boomer fucking fan base is sitting on tens of thousands of
mountains of savings that they need to spend bef- in a couple of years before the diagnoses Die? start rolling in. The so diagnoses. They, <laughs> the dreaded diagnoses. Right. So, like, they're just able to pump themselves full of fucking money and just pump all that money out of their fans because everyone is like, well, I mean, I have to go see the Rolling okay. Stones, right? You have I to. Ha- so, And it's yeah. not like some other band where the, the tickets are, say, 60 bucks. It's not like the Rolling Stones, in anybody's opinion, could have like chord progression and lyrical depth that is ten times greater. It has to do with I... reputation. Okay, okay. So, yeah, it has to do with reputation, and... Alright. So I guess someone who doesn't agree with modern art, or whatever, as like a concept, would probably not agree with this statement either. But to me, this is like core, and I think... and I, I, To me, this is obvious, but, you know, whatever. And that is that, like, skill... Like, it's it's sad to say, but skill really doesn't matter like in terms of like what art is meaningful and like what people respond to yeah i mean it's not that it doesn't matter Mm -hmm. because you you have you need skill sometimes you need skill to execute an idea but not always and if you execute something that means something to people and affects people Mm -hmm. then it doesn't matter how quote-unquote skilled you are two two artists can be equally quote-unquote skilled and it makes Mm -hmm. no difference if one of them used that skill to make something that people responded to and the other one didn't. The reason why skill matters is because skill can help better, uh, you know, uh, communicate to the audience what the idea is. So it doesn't really matter how good your skill is as long as you can communicate the same ideas or statement within your art. And the skills will just help you do that. So if you want to say, you know, like communicate the idea, wow, aren't humans beautiful? Isn't the human form beautiful? So it should be good to have a lot of skills. Specifically the male form. (laughs) I quickly want to say, I just quickly, it's like the same... As the saying, like, uh, don't don't work hard, uh, work smart. Work smart, yeah. 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 It it also applies to art. My three case studies for what Ben was talking about, about it's it's more about what you're expressing than your skill, right? First of all, there's fucking M. Night Shyamalan, right? Who happened to make his first movie play to his strengths, right? It's a movie where it seemed like his limited filmography skills... Which one was that? Uh, the Sixth Sense, Sixth like that. That's Sense. one where oh, right, it seemed right. like okay. it seemed like it was a stylistic choice to make the camera so fucking slow, uh, which it was. But then, come Last Airbender, it turns out Shyamalan is just bad at shot composition and moving a camera. Right. Other good example is George Lucas, who like happened to have this. He has a great creative core that just has to be roped in to by, by producers. So once he was allowed to do whatever he wanted, that didn't work, right? So he has mm-hmm. good ideas. He had something really great to express. He just isn't very skilled. So my counterexample is Zune, someone who cannot fucking draw, but can aesthetic. More I'm than not familiar draw. with Zune. He makes the Toho, Toho games. Guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, like, okay. lots of video games espouse the idea that sheer graphical horsepower is how you make a game look good, whereas in other games that are all about art design say, no, good art is good. And then Toho basically says, good art isn't good, aesthetic is good. So he's someone who plays to his strengths brilliantly. Like, he lets well, the fact I, that he can't do fucking I, art that I, Are well. you sure that it's more that people... I, I mean, the, no, who would argue that it's, like, it's good, that the art of Zune being no, bad it's, it's is, not, like, better? It's not good, necessarily. Being... The point is that he, he leverages what skills he does have to his favor to great effect. Sure. And all he, do, all he needs to do is communicate the idea. Those skill, Yeah, yeah, those skills are not in the artwork itself, but, like, he, the art that mm. he does make communicates these ideas that are built right. up through, like, the, the gameplay and the dialogue and the music and you yeah. know, whatever yeah. else has, has... For instance, Zune is trying to communicate that, uh, or at least I assume, I've not played many of the games, but the art mm. I've seen is cute girls are cute, and he does not have yes. a lot of, you know, artistic skill, but he can communicate that with his limited skill. Now, could he, now, could, now, so. now could he do this better with even greater skill? Of course. He could make a really cute girl mm-hmm. in actuality, right. and you would be more convinced of that. But it doesn't mean that just because he does not have the skill, he does not communicate the idea that cute <laughs> girls are cute. I was gonna say, isn't Toho just like a lot of waifus? Well, uh, I mean, it's, it's 100% waifus, arguably. That's how it looks from the you know. outside. <laughs> the, the whole point of Toho is that, if you've, has anyone played a Toho I have played, the, I have played, played like, them. one or two Tohos. I've yeah. played, like, okay. a couple. I've been when you play a Toho, Toho it, it's just that you go through, like, you play as, like, a Reimu or a Marissa or whatever it is. You play as just, like, a character with very little Speak personality. Speak English, but some, like, damn it. 
Okay, what, <laughs> whatever. You're, you're just like some girl with little personality, but you're like have a kind of cute design, and you just encounter girls that say very little, but they say enough to get a hint towards their personality. And my theory is this is given, I, this is, I don't know, everyone believes this, I think. It's that just like having so little presented about the characters, and then just a couple hints about the personality, and then you fight them in a cool boss fight, uh, uh, and they have a cute design. That gave everyone such a blank check. To fill yes. in as much as they wanted for like, oh, that this is why that character's Moe. Lol, she's such a... One of my favorite YouTubers back in the day, Digibrony MLP, compared the Toho yeah. fandom to the fandom of the Pony mm -hmm. MLP background characters. At least circa seasons 1, 2, and 3 yeah. before yeah, season 5 sense. kind of well, blew the lid off of that. But, but, but okay, okay, mm -hmm. it's not enough. It's not enough to just give a blank check. Because, like, mm -hmm. nothing, like, saying nothing would be giving a blank check. Well, that, they, they give like, you enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, like, right, there's right, definitely, right. there's something here that makes people want to, like, fill the backstory Well, like, in, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's, there's a character, there's a character whose name I forget. I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, uh, it's, it's one of the Toho girls, and the only thing I know about this Toho girl is that she canonically is, is actually tiny, like the size of a mouse. She wears a sake cup as a big old hat, and she fights with a needle that is some, like, legendary needle sword of like this diminutive race of is people. She, is she is she Hollow Knight? She oh. I mean it's not, she was Hollow Knight before Hollow Knight was cool. I forget her name. Someone please it's like Haku Jaku. Oh, oh right. Haku I think her, her name is actually Hod Hodo Knight. I'm fucking googling <laughs> it to see if I can find it. Uh, oh, it is okay. Sukuna Shinmyo Maru. Whoa. Sukuna Shinyo Maru. Uh, that's her name, and she is adorable. I'm gonna like a fucking picture of her. Look at her. So uh, it's just, and it j my point is, just by her design being cute and these basic facts about her being a cutie uh, and being diminutive, <laughs> and from this weird, she's like the princess or something. Look at her. I, like this was enough to make me like this is like my favorite Toho character just because of these basic facts. She's she's cool, that's, uh, and sure. I think that's what's happened. I think that's what happened to like everybody. Wait, why does she? Have, also, the games are fun. Why is there a hammer? Why is there a hammer ben, sized for a mouse? Ben, do you remember Secret of Mana? Um, yeah. Remember that item you could get the, in Secret of Mana? Drum. That was the Flammy Drum. Uh, Right. Uh, that's right. Or, that's right. Or, the, uh, yeah. or no, there's a there's like a mini mallet or something that oh, turns you big or small. Yeah. There's like a there's a Japanese folklore thing oh, that is like okay. a hammer that resizes you, and I think oh, that's what that is. That is a fucking funny thing that oh, would like that's exist right. in a folklore. <laughs> like what? That's what? the Mario and Luigi yeah. games too, right? With the hammer up and um, to squish fucking. Mario. It, it is definitely yeah. a thing Maybe. that I have seen in other games, but I, I specifically I remember it from Secret of Mana. Right. Okay. Well, so guys, this is all, I think we've made our point that like art does not require like the artist to be the most skilled person. So, so to that end, let's get back to like post. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Case in point. Okay. Fucking what? tales gets trolled. Well, yeah. Okay. Go watch my I mean, fucking lecture, idiots. Uh, well, I just want to plug his. Lecture. He's the le he's, no, no. He's the least. Okay. He's the least talented. Well, that's not true. But you know, he's clearly Laserbot. Please come on our show. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's not the least talented. But you know, he like there are better artists out there. But sure. and yet the story that he makes is compelling as fuck, and it doesn't matter. Well, is, is like it... if it were drawn better, quote unquote better, would it be a better comic? No. So there you go. Well, and in, in, in fact, the low quality of it enhances the yeah. absurdity of it and the comedy. And I mean, you get to see him improve, which is always interesting. Like, I mean, sure. for me, yeah. seeing an artist improve over the course of their long form work is like, oh, that's fucking mm -hmm. neat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I I have a question. I've been listening for the last twenty five minutes, <laughs> mm -hmm. and and I just my my question is, I the guess the rage building. No, no, no. It's it's <laughs> fine because my problem is that like I just. As much as I want to say that, like, modern art is gay, I just yeah. hate it. Like, that's just the end of the story. You like, just I just hate it. I Why? just hate it. Okay. Uh, because I... And it, I wait, I'm, oh, wait, I'm glad we have a contrarian. I'm glad we have someone with the opposite opinion. Modern art or postmodern art? Which are we talking about? I'm, I'm, I was going to say, I'm not going to be so obtuse as to blanket statement an entire genre. It's just, like, that kind of art. The kind of art we're talking about. I understand Like, Tales Gets Trolled? Uh, no, of? not Tales Gets Trolled, but, like, like in, no. in a gallery setting the, and stuff. I, I, I the, the, uh, okay. I okay. just, yeah. I don't find it appealing to me personally. And I, you know... As much as I'd like to make a more intellectual case, I really don't have one. But my question uh, is, okay, okay. is that for the last 25 minutes, we've, we've, you've all come to the conclusion that you, skill doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And mm. it's just, you know, people like what they like or whatever. So how do we reconcile that fact with the fact that we shit on awful YouTubers constantly? I got it. I know how, Tom. I know how, Tom. Because we distinguish between 
art that is itself valuable and meaningful, and it does not matter how that art came into existence. Whereas when we're viewing the artist, when we're talking about who the artist is, it does matter how they achieve the thing they're trying to make, which is why, even though The Room, for example, is one of yeah, my favorite movies of all of time, room. I would never that. say that I think that Tommy Wiseau is one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. I think that's the important distinction here. The art is separate. Okay, but the problem is when we're talking about po modern and postmodern art, the uh -huh. people and the culture, they do say that, yes... Jackson Pollock is one of the greatest artists of all time. Hi. Well, he has made a lot of those. It is repeatable what he's done. Well, here's okay. I'd like to like make it clear exactly where I'm coming from on this. And this it comes from something I believe it was a year and a half ago when uh we in the PCP chat talked about that art assignment video called I Can Do That because we were watching it because we had just come off the coals of watching this Paul Joseph Anderson video where he's just like, uh, look at all these stupid paintings. This one's just a square. This one is just a bunch of scribbles. It's so stupid. These mm -hmm. people shouldn't be so famous. And we're kind of like rolling our eyes like, yeah, yeah, we get it. We get it. But then the, the moment where it goes from eh to uh is when he goes, <clears throat> this is why we need... Uh, objective standards in art to make sure people like this can be stopped, and it's like, oh, hold on there, buddy. Wait, did he, now, wait, Paul Joseph Anderson, that's the video game guy, right? Paul Joseph Watson, I think. Watson, oh shit, I'm getting my uh, Paul Joseph. No, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you said wa Watson, um, at least that, that's I the guy know. I Am I of... crazy? Am I crazy? Okay. I, have I don't no know. Idea. The audience will judge. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the YouTube guy who has the, the big fucking chipmunk face that he puts in the middle of the camera all the time. I feel like he uses the fish island or he has the world's most bulbous face. That guy. That's so, awesome. yeah. Um, yeah. He, uh... Yeah, so like he made the case that we need objective standards to stop these people, and that's where it's like, okay, this is no longer an opinion thing. This is now a fucking like socio-political thing. We have to maintain objective standards of quality and talent in order to discern the value of anything. And uh, Munchie, you just got done watching the cla the modern classic "Why Is Modern Art So Bad" video by Prager University. Which I just did a 40 minute rebuttal video to on my main channel, but now I'm here in this podcast to shit on it even more. Like, it's from this guy who's like probably a Christian, very like an old fuddy duddy conservative type guy, and he's a painter. Mm -hmm. Probably Christian, a.k.a. Right. stupid. And, like, I, I, went to his, I went to his website. All right, Munchie over here. I went to this guy's uh -huh. website to look at his art, and you can tell that he's, like, into classic-style art, but he's not that good at it. It ends up looking more like sci-fi pulp novel covers. But you can tell he's a classicist, and in this video he makes the case for classic art being better than modern art, which is fine and all, except he then shits on the idea of beauty is in the eye of the beholder and that, like, shit is subjective. Uh, and that we need to bring back objective standards in order to stop these people. The great art historian Jacob Rosenberg wrote that quality in art is not merely a matter of personal opinion, but to a high degree objectively traceable. Without aesthetic standards, we have no way to determine quality or inferiority. As if it's somehow like a drag on you that scribble paintings and square paintings are popular. Like, like you don't well, need uh to... And, and they resonate. Right. You don't need to kick out art you don't like to make room for yourself. Like, make art that you think is good and make it good enough to get your own fucking well, attention. I, I I think what he's responding to is the, the, the culture that has come to embrace this thing that he finds right. to be, you know, unvaluable and whatnot. Tom. I, mm -hmm. I, I I literally do not understand what you're saying. So you're saying why do we think why why do we shit on bad YouTubers when we praise modern art? Is that what uh, you're I mean, not so. It's it's just that if you're saying that the skill mm -hmm. doesn't matter, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the execution why? matters. I'll tell you why. Because it's not a matter of the skill being bad that makes YouTubers bad. It's that the art they make is terrible. But we do not like the art that they right. produce. And and that that statement that you're saying implies implicitly uh, uh, that that modern art is bad. That we do not like it, and we're just saying, oh, you don't need skill to in, in making bad art is okay. When we're saying that you don't need uh, skill to make art that we like and resonate with, we like modern art, or at least I do. I like modern art, so I can explain away why the skill doesn't matter, and I can explain it and make an intellectual point about. About it. I'm not saying that uh, modern art is bad and therefore the skill does not matter because you can make bad art and it doesn't matter. The point of the matter is simply I like modern art and I don't like YouTube, uh, you know, shitty YouTube reviews. <laughs> and that's fine. You don't have to like. You don't have to like modern art or anything. You, okay, you I quickly like 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 want to say like matter. I quite dislike modern art. I will say, but I will. But I. 
it, you know, I, I recognize why I dislike it. I, I recognize why I dislike it. And I'm fine with people creating it. I, you know, I'm free to dislike it and yeah. they're free to create it. There's no issue here between me and the people who create modern art. Well, mage, that is the, you have cowardice in your convictions. You should demand that the world conform to your expectations. <laughs> Therefore, you're, yeah. you, you're either a coward a- or less? lying. Which is it, mage? Which is it? <laughs> <laughs> anything less mage. is. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Nate. Uh, yes. Uh, I'll just bring this up, and I don't okay. know if we'll have anything interesting to say about it, but whatever. Mm. Uh, Come on, it's me. Of d- course I will. Do you know, <laughs> did you know, you probably did know, that we have a, uh, like, a second cousin or a cousin once removed or whatever that mm, is mm. A, a, like, a supposedly a pretty successful, like, somewhat famous abstract painter? I, I believe, is his name Winston? His name is Winston. Is. That's Are we, right, yep. I mean, should we, like... Link him, or should we say like his website or something? Is it Winston Saint or Winston Bestman? I'm gonna lean towards no. <laughs> That's a good question. I um, mean, let's lean towards no, and then maybe we'll add in the description or something. Okay, whatever. Winston the gorilla. It it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, yeah Win- and Winston. It's um, Winston the gorilla. I Picture him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to. I'm at his. I'm at his website, and I'm just looking at his art. Mm-hmm. And I gotta say, you know, kind of like with Jackson Pollock, I don't really get it. Uh, although. Okay, sometimes I find I'm looking at these and some of the aesthetics are good and I'll mm-hmm. be like, "Oh, that's a nice like collection of colors. That's a nice thing." For yeah, the most yeah. part, I'm like I don't like it. <laughs> okay. But but maybe maybe the point, maybe the point is just, you know, you 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 combine colors and whatever and like, you know, like most of them will not appeal to most people, but some of them will appeal right. to some people and you sometimes sometimes you just get lucky and find your audience of someone who's like, "Oh, that looks neat." and then they buy it and I, I don't know. Where, the where movement the fuck behind modern art, as I understand it, was a rejection of the styles and forms that had been used in classical art up to that point. Whereas that guy in that video, that PragerU video, was talking about how, like, no, like, images used to, like, capture beauty and convey grandiose messages and use technical skill. And these are the things we celebrate. But, but yeah. like, our boy our boy W here is, like, <laughs> w. Uh, the big W, uh, he's, he's, like, he's just attempting to, like, Throw images out there, and I guess like see what sticks. And I'm sure he's I made like a pro- lot of art. I think that's makes... probably what painters right. do. I think that's probably what being yeah. a I, painter I is. Say, I quickly want to say uh, uh-huh, about uh-huh. the you know the whole skill doesn't matter thing. Now uh, the thing is, like skill definitely helps it in many ways and in, in many in many times. Exactly. However, it's I, not I like it's it's not mandatory because sometimes people who are very good at ex- executing things can just catch lightning in a bottle, so to speak. And that, that's I was actually going to ask that. Is it possible? Is it possible that skill holds you back from experimentation and that you're and that that no human's ability could ever rival like the kind of electric stuff that you can just stumble into if you're just if you're just trying random well, shit. Hold on now. So one of the things to keep in mind no. is that. One that of the things I've. No By the way, just for fun, I posted the links to Winston stuff in the chat. I'm gonna check that out. Okay, we will decide. So, we will decide if we're gonna post. We will them judge them. Winston. This has obvious skill and intent in it. You think so? Pretty good. Yeah, 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 a lot of it. There is skill there. I'm not saying. Oh wow, not yeah, this is really there. nice. I like these colors. I like how the colors are mixed. Some the of first... them I do like. There are definitely ones here that are the cool. The first painting at the very beginning has this like cool like fucking like circle in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we not talk about potential images that won't be in the? video we'll, we'll, no let's we'll, we'll, we'll show this first one because it's nice yeah, now let's edit this in we'll edit this in yeah <laughs> so it'll be fine, okay. it'll be fine. Uh, so i had a comment <laughs> recently. Th- that was me stretching by the way not me being Your frustrated by ed people so i had a comment mm-hmm. say i grew up hating rothko mark rothko until i saw one of his paintings in a museum like eye to eye in person right uh mark rothko is a guy who paints just like squares right and it's like with the with the i remember uh paul joseph watskerson specifically calling out rothko he's just he just drew a red square what the fuck right thing is when people like analyze mark rothko when you read up on him apparently what he does is he layers his painting his paint over and over and over again it gives it a sense of depth that cannot be captured in photography and then transmitted onto a digital screen you have to see it in person and when you do People say the images feel like they they become like three dimensional. The images feel like they're floating in space because they're so richly textured, right? There's something mm-hmm. that he is doing there, and 
interesting thing about both Rothko and Pollock is when you research their histories, they both started off doing actual painting, like that, where their technical skill is obviously much more clear, where they're drawing people or stuff. Like they, they both started out, you know, pretty postmodernist. They weren't like classicists, but they both started drawing stuff that you obviously could not imitate, right? They both started off with sketches and drawing things and then devolved their complexity more and more and more as they continued to experiment and basically just got to the very heart of why they really wanted to paint, right? They just went to down to the bread and butter of what they actually had been wanting to express and took 10 years of stylistic development in order to well, get there. And, and what did they want to express? Right. Well, then when you try to explain that, when you hear what other people explain, this goes back to my problem at the beginning where they try to explain it mm -hmm. using these very tangible, almost objective terminology. Like, you know, it's supposed to express your the human condition of the feeling of the thought of the feeling of the whatever, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Um, and another thing is that it is definitely true. Like, okay, I had someone, I had another comment saying, you know, if, if someone told me they're an artist and then they showed me Pollock, I wouldn't take them seriously, right? Like, he doesn't take, he doesn't regard Pollock as real art. He's like, yeah, you know, most art, you know, you have to actually consider what you're doing and have a point and a theme and skill and effort, right? So what sure. I said was, okay, go to MS Paint, pick whichever tools you like, select four colors that you think are good, and then use whatever tools you want on MS Paint to make a pattern with those colors. The pattern cannot be symmetrical. It has to be like, it has to look chaotic, but the colors have to be evenly distributed. There can't be too much red on this corner. There can't be too little blue in the middle. It has to be evenly distributed while also being chaotic. And he, he came up with an image that was, you know, shitty looking, but it did fulfill what I requested. And he's like, okay, that was kind of interesting, right? And I'm like, there you go, right? This isn't something you can do effortlessly. The the video, uh, Why is Modern Art So Bad? This fucking fuddy-duddy said that he would go up to his art students, because I guess he's a professor, and he would show them a picture of a a Jackson Pollock painting, and he said, "Analyze oh, this Jackson, this yeah. analyze this Jackson Pollock painting, and explain why it is good." And then they would say, "Oh, it's deep, it's bold," and he'd be like, "It's actually a close-up of my studio apron. It's just a bunch of smears. You've been duped, a trolled." All right now, first of all, they we'll just over. Trolled. Congratulations, people have found <laughs> art within your studio A yeah. good job. You should sell that for money. Right. Uh... So we'll just I'll just like sort of passingly mention I mean, the fact I... that he presented with them a false question. I think I think that what that says is not anything mm -hmm. about Pollock. I mean, it just it's just that Hold on, hold like on. I think like I've... a thing can be aesthetically pleasing even right. if there's no, no like, okay. like thematic there, there's intent. So many it. things wrong with it though. I've been pouring over it for a fucking week in my mind. First of all, he specifically phrases it as Analyze this Jackson Pollock painting <clears throat> and explain why it is good. He Are said, you sure he said it was a Jackson Pollock? Are you sure about he, that? He said that. He tricks yeah, yeah, them. He okay. lies okay. to them. Okay. To the video. So he, he does... did lie. So he did right. lie. Okay. And he specifically right, says, explain mm -hmm. why it is good. He doesn't say, tell me what you think of it, right? Yeah, now, yeah when, that's when, the... Now, Right, that is when a he, bit loaded. Question. That is when a bit he loaded. presents, when he presented the video, when I first watched it, right, and he didn't explain it to the audience of the of the video that it was going to be a trick. I see the Jackson Pollock painting, and I'm like, oh, I don't care for it. It looks stupid. I, I don't, I don't get it. Right? Mm -hmm. It's dull. Oh uh, yes. It was, it's kind of a why dull is Davu? Why is Davu knew better? Yes, thank right. God. Well, here's the thing, right? I didn't fall for the trick because I. I don't have a fucking art professor telling me that right. objective yep. standards yep. should be a fucking thing. Right? Exactly. I don't let people tell me what to fucking <laughs> oh think. This guy fucking does. This guy tag, fucks, tag dude. Devo. This guy fucks. Yeah, he he is from a position of authority and telling them what to say. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask them to express right. themselves. He told me, them yeah. to say why it's good. Ah. So people, so the people there, you know, they're trying to come up with reasons why it's good. They might not necessarily like it, but they're trying to fulfill right. their request. Right. That's a big problem with that whole thing is because he's in a position of authority. And this is, this is like, but this is, this, this touches on something that I think, cause like, I'm not a huge fan of postmodern, modern art, whatever, but like people can mm -hmm. make it. I don't give a shit. It doesn't bother me. What mm -hmm. I don't like is the culture around it. 
because right. I think there's there's a lot okay. of like the problem that I had in my experience because like I went to museums during art school and shit and I looked at all this stuff and that was like fine like I wasn't super engaged in it that was fine what I hated was the students and the teachers that liked it because there was this culture mm, of yeah of 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 I'm going to project why this is so good and then everyone is going to like the public kind of looks up to these people of authority, like the people mm-hmm. in the galleries oh. and stuff, and they're like, oh, they know better uh, than me, yeah. so I'm going to try and, like, pull the meaning out of it, even though I don't... I'm going to lie to Every... myself to conform to social standards. Yeah. Everything everything that I have heard about the... I'm no expert, but everything that I have heard about the modern, like, fine art painting community suggests to me that what it pretty much is is just a bunch of rich people... Uh, are bored and decide <laughs> that such and such is the new thing and yeah. then it becomes really and then it becomes really expensive so they can all sp- so they mm-hmm. can all spend their money on it and then talk about why it's I do think that, that culture is probably really fucked but so yeah. again I want to reiterate my platform here is to shoot down people who who want to elect the god the great leader of objective standards to overthrow this culture it's basically like finding the great communist leader to overthrow the capitalist system it's a very very ill-conceived I... idea well, when Devu earlier mentioned about how he rolled his eyes when he read about people trying to describe or explain the paintings and stuff like that, um, mm-hmm. I, I think, like, f- for me personally, I know why that would irk me a lot, because, like, whenever I, you know, do art and stuff, and I I would try to, like, I, I try to imagine people trying to analyze my art on that level, it would, it just so would annoy me because th- they're probably gonna get it wrong because there's not that much thought put into paintings. It's usually, like, in art, right. it's usually a lot of emotions and not a lot of reason. I could be wrong. There could be right. a lot of people who tactfully put every single dot or whatever. But. Well, Major, I'm glad yeah. to say that. A lot. I wanted to I wanted to raise a, a counter argument to some of this because okay guys uh, we've been we've been shitting a lot on modern art and postmodern art you know general not not everybody Wait, but no we have oh yeah we've been no we haven't we've been defending it this Tom I mean Tom had defensive. okay f- fair enough I haven't shit on anything I just said I didn't like it I specifically okay. opened with I don't like it. Okay, you know what I'll say to those people out there who who find it uh, uh, invaluable or in whatnot. Uh, here's, wait, wait, here's invaluable what I would say. means it's valuable. Kind of like inflammable means it's oh, flammable. F- God damn it! I can't catch a break today. All right, uh, <laughs> gotcha. listen. I- imagine that you are Jackson Pollock and you're in your studio. And I- I'm saying this. I'm, I'm looked. At, I looked up pictures of Jackson Jackson Pollock when he's working on his shit. Imagine you are out there every day working for like eight hours, which I'm projecting. I'm assuming he does this. You know, he's dead now, but whatever. And you're in your studio and Every day, you spend oh, no. all day throwing paint on a canvas and trying new techniques to achieve more interesting effects. And you, you do this, and your art your art gallery is filled with, like, things that you have w- tested these new techniques on, that you have been slaving away to try to make this thing happen. Mm-hmm. And then you pick the best of the best that you think are the most evocative, convey the most... Just, you can't even describe what it conveys. It just yeah. is interesting to look at. And then, and and yes, and you sell for tons of money because they're popular. And then you have people say, well, I could have done that. Well, I yeah. could have done that. You yeah. know, like what the, after like a lifetime spent honing this craft of experimenting. I'm sure and, there's you know. interviews of him talking about it because it's not like this was something that like came up as a criticism after the fact. This is sort of like what got him popular was people huddling around being like, is this even, like, is this legit? It's funny that we use Pollock as an example, though, because Jackson Pollock became famous not even because people liked his art. It was because Mm -hmm. he was from New York and he looked like an an all-American kind of guy. And, like, at that, at that, (laughs) no, seriously, at that time, the, uh, like, the, whatever art movement he was a part of, it was, like, big Mm. in, like, France and Europe and people, Mm. like, in New York, they wanted it to be American. So there was a photo of Jackson Pollock wearing a Mm. cowboy hat and it looked stereotypically American. (laughs) So they specifically chose him to make him popular and pull that movement back to America. So he was the K-pop star of his era, basically. Pretty much. That that is really, really, really depressing. (laughs) Um, guys, who the fuck thought it was an okay idea to change the topic on the day of recording? Gib, you weren't even here. Yeah. <laughs> Why would we have to worry about what you I'm think if you're not even here? I'm fucking pissed. This is the topic. This is the thing I have the most to say about. And the topic was Gib, changed. Gib, you're an hour late. <laughs> Bef- and you didn't show up on time. 
Well, yeah. you're I here mean, what now. Else, what can we do? He, he didn't think that this would be the topic, so he didn't have a reason to show up. He didn't have a reason to show yeah, up that's for YouTube fair. alternatives. He that's, wanted no, to that's go fair. to Modern Art. That's, he had yeah. no reason but, to yeah. right So now. now that you're oh, here, are you recording? Yes. Can, oh, can you oh, oh, you, you, oh, this is a topic you want to talk about. Oh, absolutely, yeah. YouTube alternatives was a piece of shit topic. I didn't want to do it. Agreed. And this is the, the most... Hippo. Oh, I'm so mad. I don't... This should never, ever happen. Well, why? Why? It's You're here going. now. Everything's I'm fine. angry all, that it has happened, and I'm gonna s- clip the mic Could've right now. That's what I'm doing. Oh, no! <laughs> to, for brevity's yeah. sake, I'll just say my general top like uh, stance on modern art. It's good, okay. but Jackson Pollock is shit, and I don't like him. But that's... Okay. We, we, did you hear what we were saying about Jackson I Pollock? Ju- I jumped in, he's... and you were talking about him, and I, he always gets brought mm-hmm. up because... Mm-hmm. He rides the line, yeah. some say. The the way yeah. I view art, modern art or otherwise, is that if it's good, I like it, and if it's not, it sucks. And the fact that it's modern doesn't have anything to do with of course. it. Yeah. I think Jackson Pollock is probably much better seen in person than, uh, you know, via fucking digital yeah. right. media, whatever, um, two-dimensional there's a, thing. So there's that's a something. Painting, there's something. a painting downstairs in my, in like a little book nook uh, near our porch, and it is, mm. I mean, it's just a bunch of fucking colors. Maybe I'll take a picture of it and like upload it and it can go on the screen. Yeah, that'd be it, cool. It's just, it's just a bunch of colors and like there's some like blotches of like silver paint on it in like squares and like, you know, it's whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything, but... But the colors are deep and rich, and it's, like, these beautiful jewel tones, like, kind of coming out of, like, a kind of black, a sort of general black uh, uh, area. And then there's these, just the silver, the silver squares just kind of, like, cut through there, and they kind of, like, fade at some of the corners. And it's, like, it's like the thing has been stamped with, like, a spiral, like, stamp or something. So it has this, like, mm-hmm. this weird, yeah. like, like tactile, like, ridges to it. And I love this fucking painting, because it's got, like, it's really just textural and, like beautiful right. in so, its colors. Okay. I, I know that we've been exposing our ignorance by, by just fucking mentioning like P- Pollock constantly, but he's just the one that I happened to like get triggered he's about. Emblematic. He's, I'm super he, ignorant. He, he's em- <laughs> well, Pollock is emblematic. Like, okay, I don't, I don't know that much. I, don't, I couldn't name that many like painters of the, of this style, honestly. But Pollock is emblematic as someone who is like basically all you know, all aesthetic and no like no concrete like like subject matter. Right, mm-hmm. right. No, that's one of the things that people brought up as one of the painting's strengths is that there are no like centerpieces in his paintings where your eyes are definitively drawn to, which is actually a lot harder than you think. So this guy in my comment section who I, I, I challenged to do something sort of like a Pollock, what he ended up doing was he made a whole bunch of very definitive shapes that he himself expressed uh, dislike with because they mm. drove him nuts, right? The thing about Pollock is that they're so interwoven and all the shapes are so minimal in their in themselves mm. that there's just no beginning or end right. to his painting. I'm, I'm gonna you know? I'm gonna contest that because yeah. most of his like paintings that. are on canvas which have edges. So there's going to be a middle point. How edgy. Like like if he if he oh, wanted so... to take it to to a degree yeah. where it's like where does the art begin and end? He should just take like it, get a paint it, like bomb grenade and throw it into a room. Yeah. <laughs> so the last <laughs> thing I'll, I'll mention about Pollock, I swear to God, is is yeah the the guy who did the the fucking apron meme prank bro. Okay. Someone in my comments also mentioned that that fucking apron does not in any way look like a Jackson Pollock painting. His apron is a bunch of fucking smudges. And the smudges are of way too many colors, all turning into a big brownie mess, and they're mostly cornered in the upper left corner, right? Jackson Pollock's paintings are splatter paintings, not smudges, with very limited, well-considered colors, and are very evenly distributed. I, so, to like, be fair, it's not I just random. knew that it was not a painting; it was something like some sort of goading well, baby I've, thing. I, I, I had something right. to, to say about that because I, I saw you that mm-hmm. you linked it uh, before Devu. And I watched it, and I'm like, yeah, right. this guy, this guy's a fucking silly Billy. But the thing he has about like art students faking that they're smart about things yes. is definitely something that happens. That and is a lot true. of people in the art yeah. world just sort of nobody knows what art is or what is like correct. Uh, but people, uh, right. there's this uh, general uh, idea mm-hmm. that there is something correct, so people have to, uh, you know, pretend constantly. And they get wrapped up in their can own I, wait, like, hey, fakeness. I, like, oh, yes, it's, it's, that? it's inspiring, it's this and that. Mm-hmm. But they mm-hmm. don't actually know what they're saying. I want to contest that. 
I, I have, uh, okay, this is, we, we've been, we've wa frankly wasted a ton of our viewers and our time here because these are the facts of the matter. All right, classical art, modern art, postmodern art, they have one thing in common and it's that they're all equally worthless. All right, mm. the best art, oh, no. the best uh -huh. art is that that which uh, uh, achieves some real world impact and that is oh why the God. greatest the greatest artwork that was <laughs> ever made was literally the uncle sam i want you for the u.s army poster <laughs> that is the, the greatest <laughs> piece of artwork could we just because have it does one episode job. where it you don't devolve job. into retardation I, one episode no i, I refuse <laughs> that call this Nate, is what about aaron what about gurren lugan uh, well, okay. There, there is something to be said for inspirational stuff that that uh, that, that conveys some larger truth. Uh, it enjoys more Nate, people Nate, point up than point no. forward. No, Nate, what? my fa my Art favorite is thing is not my... about like practical effect like like art is why about... not? Why? What's that... wrong with art that it's not about like, what that? No, is what my you're question. talking about is propaganda. My... Like, it, like yeah. yeah, like like you're no. That's okay. That was effective as propaganda, but that doesn't mean that it succeeds as art. Okay, I mean maybe I, it does. The thing about that is that the art was not a, responsible hmm. for people joining the the, the military. It, it, that, that that Uncle Sam was extremely yeah, it was provocative. provocative. Extremely yeah, effective. but the thing is, that's not the sole mm -hmm. reason people join the military. That's not the sole pe I reason. I mean, like the flag, the American flag are you is art more. Exists in a context? The American flag is uh -huh. more of a thing, and then also like just advertising and like pushing like yeah, people talking about it and you know speeches that the president right. said those are all yeah. equally I mean, going towards the same goal you can't say that that poster is the art that made it all happen probably most well, it was the part classical of the thing. art My is, thing uh, about most classical me. art i believe is propaganda for christianity right like yeah, that's, that's that's right it, it depays like a majestic and inspiring no, images generally to propaganda. celebrate well well how it's do you define yeah, propaganda it's a, it's then it's a I mean, celebrate you know, yeah. It, well, propaganda is it's made with this with the intent of you know fucking i don't know doing something I, well I, I guess if you're like a really religious person and you make an art just because you love jesus so much that isn't immediately propaganda like i think the intent yeah but probably... it's fucking commissioned by the church for you to paint in their fucking buildings it's obviously like trying to make the building more inviting i, you know? I mean I, I guess you could argue that that is their building that like where they, i mean they are already down with jesus so like they're not trying to convince no they're trying like, well they're, no they bring my, fucking my people in the church about about them. that's how christianity like, works that's literally how the catholic wait, wait, church what's works what's favorite thing about Nate <laughs> I want to hear my my, fa my, my favorite uh -huh. thing about Nate is that his two modes are completely memeing and no sincerity <laughs> and then trying to have philosophical de debates those and two go together ideas. so well and, dude and, I gotta tell you they really and, 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 and then and then when he breaks out the insightful ideas on the podcast, he says them in, in the most <laughs> obviously outrageous and meme way that no one could ever possibly believe curse. them. But then just keeps presenting them <laughs> over and over again like that, and then everyone has to st slowly stop chuckling and be like, "Well, Nate, that's <laughs> retarded." And then they're like, what are you talking well, about? Well, li listen, what are you the, saying? Like, postmodern art, all right. Like what postmodern art specifically is is like, look at this toilet. I'm calling it art. I submit like, ooh. Gotcha. Uh, you are celebrating this thing because I got you all mixed up in your fucking head to be like, oh, that's art. But secretly, I knew <laughs> that it's just a fucking toilet. It's nothing. You, you, you fools! I tricked you. Like, so it's basically it's just saying that like art is bullshit. But, but my question is, what is more valuable about classical art that like guys Mate, like that guy in that are video are like art. celebrating? Uh, I agree. I, like, okay, I, I think, okay, here's here's my theory. Tell me if I'm wrong, and if this is a tangent, fine, I'll stop. But it's like, I feel like what guys like this guy are saying is, he thinks that, like, a world where classical art is celebrated and made more is, like, better. Because we've got, like, expectations for, like, what beauty is, and, like, what the world is, I and I can understand that. I think the point someone yeah. like that is trying to really, make Really, he just likes it more. Yeah, yeah. Classical art... If you wanted, if you wanted to do something like Michelangelo or Da Vinci, that requires yeah. years mm -hmm. of study and practice. Which obviously he respects. Obviously he, he right. that and stuff. cannot yeah. imitate. Yeah. I looked at his paintings; right. they're not that good. Right. So, like, sure. I think, I think, and like, there's while you can't argue objective standards, there is no mm -hmm. arguing that objectively it takes more time, study, and effort to be right. a Michelangelo than it is to put a signature mm -hmm. on a used toilet and put it in a right. gallery. And I think yeah. people. If you stop looking at it at that level, then I think a lot of people, that's where they stop the analyzation. It's just like, yeah, this takes more effort, therefore it's better. For a great, another mm -hmm. great counterexample, there's this one guy, I don't remember what he's called or what his his comic was called, but he has this YouTube video called, uh, oh shit, I, it, the main title is something like, 
how to not waste time on your art, but the subtitle that you can. Oh, search is this the guy YouTube who's is. like he he was making a video how it took like ten years to make his comic because he kept putting like mm. insane line arts. In he his did the, the comic about his trip to Japan, right? Yeah. Right. The subtitle yeah. <laughs> of the, the subtitle of this video is from a guy who spent thirteen years drawing a comic. Where yeah, he he used Oof. like he specific yeah a, thirteen years drawing a three volume comic. So it's like four or three five volumes. years per volume, right? And he explained. Mm. And if you look at it, it's not that impressive. Like it's okay. just it's just black and white, like cartoony art. It's not like he like recreated some high level mangaka or anything. It's just the, that the he, guy's he's, name. The guy's name is Lars Martinson. Uh, if anyone mm. wants to look him up, it's a good video. It's a good yeah, video. yeah, because because basically okay. he explained yeah. that it took so long because he decided to use like he wanted it to look like certain styles, so he used like certain tools and pens and like inks that are like a pain in the fucking ass. And he also he to he, what end? he he made all shadows hatching for some yeah reason. cross hatching. He decided to make that yeah. which takes super mm. long. And he yeah, redrew every background. He never reused a background. And sometimes he would have a very busy image, even when there didn't need to be in the context of the story. So there you go. That's a good example of like putting effort, and that you don't get your money's worth from it, right? Kids, like, remember this: do not be precious about your projects. Get yeah. it done and get the next one rolling, and you will you will get better art in the end than you would have just be being open. precious. For Forever. to change be, be open, open to, to failure changing your be open to failure yeah yeah and yeah you know it's important it's important so like um oh people like paul like, fucking and other people like rosco right it is true that it didn't take as much work because like what had to go into it for consideration is a lot quicker right and you can see uh like pollock in his studio that they have documentaries of him he's obviously focusing pretty fucking hard like he's not just being mm -hmm. random mm -hmm. but the point is, he did make hundreds of those styles of paintings in the span of a decade, and so did Rothko, mm -hmm, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, okay, clearly this isn't as difficult to make, right? The thing is, though, they made hundreds of paintings. Like, the prolificity yeah. does account for something. Those, like, the paintings are not an accident. Like even yeah. even if an individual yeah. like okay, it's kind of like photography. Like you're you're you you might be capturing exactly. a moment that just happened to happen. Okay. Yeah. Did you you're know there's there, like there's like a doing, grand total? Doing, wait, of wait, like... wait, don't interrupt me. I will destroy you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're in there. You're making hundreds and hundreds of these splatter paintings or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you know you're refining your techniques and and you know you're 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 ending up with all these products and you know sometimes you have you might have a happy accident and something looks really good and then maybe a hundred other times it looks like crap and then you take the good ones and you're like like this one looks really good it's got some visually is interesting going on so you know i'm gonna present this one to my fucking mm -hmm. fans or whatever you, you know what's it's selective help exclusion curation. you know what's helpful in this uh, curation uh, is the ultimate art form perhaps uh, perhaps so uh, vi uh you could argue that everything is curation i guess but but yeah. it's like uh uh, uh, what I have found is very helpful in this process is sometimes when I'm recording a video, I'll do a bunch of takes. Uh, I do this with Wiagawas and just all, everything. I'll do a bunch of takes of, of a line. I'll, I'll do like a motion several times. And like I find more often than not, and I, I'm, I'm going to expand this in a second, but it's like more often than not, it's not one that I expected to be the good one. That when I've got it in the editing bay and it's time to, to make this part of the final product, I look through the clips and I, I pick one of them. And it's not like in that one moment where I did it, I had some brilliant insight necessarily, you know, maybe I did something different, but it's just that like, oh, that one happened to go better. And so I pick that one. And by doing that for like every take throughout the video, you get the best of the best of the best for the whole thing. And you know, like that is the process by which you produce something that's really good. Yeah. And I mean, yes, you can be precious with everything and, and do takes to get them perfect. And you're like, that was the one, but like, this is another, another curation form of makes it good. Were you just and, like, saying and, and not just, to worry about it and just get it out there and now you're saying you do everything five times and no do no no five the, times no listen what, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is uh, I w there's nothing wrong with if you if you're not sure if something's coming out good or bad don't just accept that it's bad like there, there's a level of degrees here you need to accept doing five takes of something uh if if like for example if I'm doing like a, an intro to Iagua like they're they're very random and chaotic and I just make whatever the fuck up off the top of my head but I will do it several times because I'll know that like I probably won't get it like looking perfect one time but if I have five to work with it's it takes like you know five minutes as opposed to one minute to record and I give myself that much more likelihood of having the material I need to work with to make it acceptable in the end so uh, you know did you know there. that Stanley Kubrick when filming uh, Dr. Strangelove or how I learned to stop mm -hmm. worrying and love the bomb how that movie is famous because everyone acts like a goofball in it none of the yeah. actors knew that that was how the movie was going to be uh, during the entire process of filming Kubrick said oh yeah well let's have some improvised takes on the script here 
So I'm just gonna film like sort of us doing the script, but goofy, just to kind of you know like like grease the mm. wheels, loosen up a bit. And, and don't worry, guys, all of you Hollywood we actors who take yourself in. very seriously, yeah. we will then film the serious version. Don't worry. And literally told none of them they had to show up to the fucking premiere to find out that he used all the goofy takes. Similarly to how he actually Dude, swapped hilarious. out the soundtrack for 2001 A Space Odyssey near the end and didn't tell the guy who made the original version. You know, that, that's great, and that adds to my point, because it's entirely possible that Kubrick didn't realize he was going to do that until the editing process. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he did. That, like, no, Kubrick is okay. evil. Kubrick was an well, evil, evil well, man right. who deceived everyone for the sake of his movies. Ma ma maybe he did. Maybe he did. That's fine. But okay, I'm going to pretend that he didn't do it on purpose <laughs> and that he did in the editing bank. <laughs> because, because you're an evil my man. Point, and and what I'm saying is like a lot of the times when I've got when I when I'm just like ah fuck it I just need to get this thing done and I film the materials and I put it in the editing bay that's when I'm able to be honestly like my most creative and it, ha giving yourself the tools to proceed and get something done just it it, it allows you to play with a more uh, narrowed down uh, palette that you can experiment with and do stuff with and that f is honestly a very helpful thing. To, to get something finally done and out the door and make it. And so, and that is not something that you can really plan out ahead of time. You can, but I'd argue it's inefficient, or at least that it doesn't work for me personally. So, uh, yeah, Hippo, that's what I'm saying. do you have more things, things to happen. say? I hope, I hope you don't feel stifled in this topic, because if you say it's your ultimate topic, I have to hear it. Well, I, I don't have anything to say about film. Uh, I, I, mo mm -hmm. Most of mm -hmm. what I have in like my brain is like... Um, People hate modern art for stupid reasons, and I hate them. But I don't know what you've yeah. already like discussed or whether you've gone over that or not. J just feel free to like risk repeating shit. Go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Art's good. What do you think about postmodern art, though? What do you mean, um, like the toilet on the on the pedestal? What do you think about that? I think I think. What do you think about toilets? You want to take a uh, shit? <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> Wide for my shit, you fat <laughs> slut. Um. Postmodern art, I mean, it's the same thing for me. If it's good, then I mm. like it. So, like, um, something Great. doesn't necessarily need a lot That's of good. effort to be put into it. But if it's like, they, and, you know, a toilet is like a terrible, it's a piece of shit, you know, lol. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the worst postmodern artist or, like, artist I've ever seen in my life, and I hate her, is Tracy Emin. Mm -hmm. She got famous for doing, mm -hmm. like, a piece where it was her bed. She had a bed with, like, um, you know, wrappers and, and dust and, and grime and soot and a dirty duvet, and it was just sort of, like, in, on the middle of the floor. This is what it's like for me mm -hmm. to wake up in the morning, and it was all grungy and horrible. And wait, wait, Tracy everyone was Emmons? Tra Tracy Emin. E M I N. Yeah. Ew. And uh, and I, don't, she, I really don't like her face very yeah, much. Yeah, she, 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 she. I've seen her also on like a few like <laughs> Ew, TV yeah. shows about like Classy where thing. she's like a judge of like postmodern artist uh, like contestant things. It's <laughs> awful, awful person. I, well, I not an awful person, but okay. awful art. I hate her. But like, um, you know, what her art looks like. She looks like the kind of like like people who do like little four panel comics of what it's like being a neurotic girl and your periods are getting all over the place yeah. and you get like twenty thousand retweets. It's just it's just like that sure. kind of thing, but more squiggly <laughs> well yeah um that some postmodern art can be really funny it, you know it it just depends on what statement they're making and whether i agree with it basically um one time in in college uh this is this is gonna get me in trouble maybe uh oh, i i did oh. a funny postmodern thing i got like a stuff i got a, like a stuffed little little monkey and uh, i got some black cloth and i made it a little burka and and that was my project well. and the teacher was like uh okay why and i explained why and it was all about like a uh, shock uh, value being like um you know it's all in the person's head it's not a burka it's not like i'm saying anything it's just like it's cute isn't it it's a cute little monkey and it's just so happens to be a muslim woman like what's so what's so wrong about that and they 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 uh -huh. were okay with it and i wrote an essay like explaining my my thought process and that was i mean in in art okay. college that's what you have to do is you have to explain it in a way that the teachers can understand if you just say it's uh, right. it i was inspired by x and I did the same thing that I was inspired by. Can I have a mark that's high, please? <laughs> it's like, no, that's not how it works. You gotta be smart. The number one thing I learned in art school was to bullshit. Like, that's... Yeah. yeah. 
No, one thing I really hate. Now, I did say that like people are free to express themselves on something, and I'm free to dislike it. And what I really, really dislike, I hate to even bring it up, is like a lot of this feminist quote unquote art, because a lot of it mm-hmm. has to do with like periods and Dude, vaginas. Like the girl literally plopping, plopping fucking like eggs out of her vagina yeah. on and a canvas was... to like, like it publicly yeah. to make a fucking thing. Then, yeah, hitting my yeah, OB that's position good fetish, shit. dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> art. And then like so, painting uh-huh. with period blood or like putting wool in your vagina <laughs> and then pulling it out and making People a sweater or something out of it. People have painted with shit their own like, shit before. What? Yeah, I know. And yeah, that's disgusting yeah. too. But like, why does feminist uh, art mm. always have to do with periods you know, and vaginas? That's very, also very. <laughs> I, I guess I mean, you don't think I, it I, always okay. does. Is it a, is it an it idea does. of like is it the fact that we find it gross? What they're trying to like fix with that, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I think the thing is like they're celebrating it. You know, they're celebrating their womanhood, but also oh, it's it's, it's like... beautiful. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Michelle. I don't. I, I said Michelle. I meant Mage. <laughs> bro, <laughs> oh no, uh, Freddy and uh, slip uh, there, bro. They start, you they always start, do that. You all. Start, you view you all mom. women as the same. Mom. Yeah. One of these days, I'm gonna. You do that. ruined uh, the podcast, uh, Nate, yet again. Oh, uh, please call me mom. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Uh, 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 I don't know what you're saying, Mage, but all I'm hearing oh. is a whole lot of internalized misogyny. That's oh. all I'm hearing, friend. That's all it's, I'm hearing. It's definitely a lot of. It, it would be a more it would be a more effective thing to do like for shock value if it hadn't become a cliche. Yes, I, I guess. well at yeah. this point yeah. that's true. C- can we criticize the people who led up to the point where it became cliche though? Like because they were you know they were doing something new, right? right. Yeah. You know what? On the same yeah. subject, my 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 postmodern art like act would be to go to, to to high schools and middle schools and hand out cards to all the boys, and the cards just has plain text saying. The reason why girls don't want to have sex with you, despite being just as wired for sex as you, is that they're very, very insecure about their vaginas and how they smell. <laughs> Scratch this spot to get a vagina smell, accustom yourself to it, and make yourself Whoa. comfortable with it, Ew. and you will have sex. What the fuck? <laughs> what the um, fuck's wrong? Li- Devu, uh, what the uh, fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> how could you get a scratch <laughs> <laughs> bro? We gotta keep the goddamn population up if we want to have fucking healthcare, right? But what I hear yes. Okay. Gay. It all comes back to healthcare. It's all about, it's all about, about the healthcare, the hair, hair, baby. It's all I'm just, about I'm just the stuck on, on scratch and sniff vagina smell. Yeah, that's. <laughs> This is a okay. This is a so loaded gross. one. I don't really want to get into the political issue of it, but like for like mattress girl, if you remember mattress girl, and uh, we can put put aside whether or not every, everything she said was true or like anything about it. But the fact that the art piece was her carrying around a mattress a- around her school, and this was the art piece. Like okay. To be fair, I understand that, like, yes, this will get people talking at her school. They will say, "What's the deal with the fucking mattress?" Um. You know, I guess I don't have well, anything more to say I, about it than I've, that. I've seen, I've seen an artist which who, I don't want to who, do. who had a <laughs> giant know, block of very ice. Very insightful point, And he, would go to New, he went to New uh-huh. York with a giant block of ice, and he would just push the ice all down the street. And he had a guy uh, following him, like... Like f- a block? Like yeah, a big, a big block? block of ice that you would, like, uh, contain, like, okay. a fishing fish and whatever in a market. And he would just push it until oh. it melted. And the, the point of the art piece was hmm. to, uh, to show how... Such a strange thing was happening, but nobody would ever pay attention, and nobody did. Uh. Nobody <laughs> even looked up at all at him. That reminds me of this. Uh, there's this one like TV cool. show. There's this one like, like low that. budget TV show on one of those low budget channels about human That's psychology. Cool one of those like, hey, it's like a human psychology show for eleven year olds, right? <laughs> but they go to a mall and they they get some uh, you know, the like the fluffy like theater railing you use to make queuing lines, right? They put it in the middle of the of the mall. And they put a sign that says, get in this line, like, for no particular reason. Like, it doesn't say for no reason, but it doesn't say what the reason is, right? And they do, so they put the queuing line there, and it leads to nothing. And the, oh yeah, yeah, the sign just says the line starts here, not explaining what the line is for. And they film this from above, and the line goes for hours, and no one gets in. So they send in one of their guys, an actor, to go into the line to stand there, right? Mm-hmm. So he stands there looking confident, like he's ready for the fucking line, right? Mm-hmm. He stands mm-hmm. there for a full half an hour, when finally, this one guy who seems kind of bored, he's like, huh. So he gets in the line. And the moment that there are two people in the line, the line suddenly explodes. <laughs> so it was a test in human psychology. If no one's in the line, yeah. no one's getting. One guy. Well, see, that's the, good see, stuff. That, that, if there's nothing. one guy in the line, mm-hmm. some 
outliers will try it and once there's two people in the line the line fills up like crazy and so then they just sort of like had the first guy who was an actor he just started walking and everyone just started following him right and they they led them all throughout the mall eventually jumping over like stupid obstacles like jumping over like a little stick or ah, whatever or like going point, in a circle doing I mean, jumping jacks and everyone fucking participated that's yeah but the, okay at some point the people in the line must have been like what the fuck's happening like like they, I, i'm sure well, that think, at some point it changed from like i'm just bored and gonna wait in this line just like it must have been amusing to them on some level right well, like those when, are, those it, when it got increasing when it got increasingly bizarre w- within every human's mind i think is these two competing things of like independent free thought basically and like our just kind of uh, relaxing ourselves into just like going with what the crowd is doing i think those are like two primal forces that kind of compete yeah. each other. i've heard the saying you know? that like uh he- an individual is intelligent a crowd is dumb or something like that Sure. Uh, yeah, what interested I mean, me about what De- Devu said there mm-hmm. was like he he was explaining that, and he said it was like a study in psychology rather than an art piece. And I think that at, uh, at some yeah. point the line blurs there. Like what what yeah, exactly. what, what is a study of psychology? What is that? Can we define this? Well, why don't we head over to our friends on UrbanDictionary.com? Why don't, why, and find why don't we head, why don't we head over why don't we head over to <laughs> forum.becomealivinggod.com? Oh, <laughs> Did you make uh, that let me just read, then? by the way, for fun. <laughs> Did you make that? Um, uh, I'm shilling for it. I'm shilling for it. I'm, 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 let me just read the definition of psychology on Urban no, Dictionary. That's... It's uh, the practice of taking things we already know about people and weighing it down with jargon until only the other people who understand it are psychologists. That's not <laughs> an art to me. You know, you know. This guy hates Jordan Peterson. Very funny. Uh, guys, I'm done. I'm spent. I've got Yeah, well, I have one more thing to say. So, okay. the the guy in the fucking Ragu University video, he's all fucking like, where did the centuries-long <laughs> quest for beauty and artistic and skillful perfection, like, go away? Like, what happened to it, right? Mm-hmm. He said it didn't just die out. It was pushed out, you know, <gasps> by, the, by the fucking, no. like, hipsters and, and shit in the early 20th century, right? Here's the mm. thing, though. That's yet another thing about that video that's fucking retarded. It wasn't like one day some dudes decided to change the face of art, and it was all their fucking fault. And they could have shown up in the 19th century, or the 15th century, or the 29th century. The fact that they showed up in the 20th century means a whole lot in the late 19th century. Because that's when film was taking off and photography was taking off. It was fucking inevitably going to become, like, static art, paintings, and sculpting was always going to become a bunch of hipster bullshit because of film. Because film is where we put our highest priority of beauty, the most effort, the most skill, and often that is highly diluted. Like, when we think of Hollywood movies, it's, you know, it's a mass-produced uh, you know, machine. But when you t- when you think about the directors out there whose films are extremely artful, it's like this is the height of our quest for beauty and overt, obvious depth. Now, right? Like animation and film and video games even are like the mediums where we're putting our our emphasis there. So painting and sculpting, they're sort of like left behind as like mediums that cannot touch people as deeply in nine times out of ten because there's not as many mediums so that's why they become so weird i don't think it's necessarily that i think the fact that you can now watch movies at home but arts you still have to go to a gallery that like, as you well, used yes. to have to go to a cinema to see a film and now you don't need to so now it's like less of an art form in the sense that you go out to see it like a theater or a play or whatever and and more that you can it's a it's a consumable product that people you know go through in their own time wherever and whenever they like and i think i think the 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 art is like um you know in galleries and and sculptures and paintings are still like the same a level of like you know artistic fulfillment you can get from it it's just you have to go to the place where it is and for Mm. a lot of people that just isn't worth the time but the thing that it evokes is like the feeling of going to a place like you go to a nice countryside and you take in the environment, you see the nice blue sky and the trees and the stuff and it sounds and feels really nice and that 
you c- I wouldn't say it's art because that's stupid. No one should say that. But like that's the feeling <laughs> that a painting of a beautiful landscape is supposed to invoke in you, it's to remind you of what it feels yeah, that, like that to landscape. to see and be in a place like that. Oh yeah. I remember one time in the chat we were talking about yeah, what are our yeah. favorite aesthetics, and you were like, I remember you, Hippo, you were like, oh, my favorite aesthetics is this and this, or like uh, some... The point is, you listed a bunch of, like, regular aesthetics, and then you one of your aesthetics was being in an abandoned 12th century castle. Yes. I love that. I love castles. They're, they're, they're my favorite art piece by mankind. They're better than propaganda. I prefer nature. Yeah, you could definitely argue that. Well, uh, here's what I'm gonna say about uh, uh, Davout's point. Uh, so, so to what that guy was saying about how, like, it was intentionally made so that we're deviating from these objective standards of beauty and stuff, uh, so I am agnostic about if there is some grand Marxist conspiracy to, like, destroy the West. I, I, I do not know, uh, whether that's true or not, so I'm putting that aside. But what I will say is to, to his point, to his point of how we are, in fact, deviating from these beauty standards, um, I want to give him as much credit as possible. He may or may not have intended this, but, like... I'm reading this into it anyway. It's like, we definitely are getting further away on in the art scene, at the very least, from objective standards. And as Davu was saying, it may in fact have been inevitable. But just because it's inevitable, it may also be inevitably destructive to the human race that that's happening. That is de- like, it's possible that Christianity, for example, despite being not true, would just be a useful thing to keep humans in line so that we don't kill ourselves. That's possible. Well, hold on. I think we, I think this is a promo for an upcoming episode that I think me and you, Nate, would be most wanting mm. to do. Which uh-huh. would be called Oikophobia, which is what some right-wing uh, art writers throughout mm. the decades have... Uh, it basically it it basically means fear of the familiar, fear of the home, but some okay. right wing writers have co opted that term to mean the opposite of xenophobia. Sort of like whenever someone hears about a law that exists in the UK, mm. and they're like, "Oh, we should have that law in America too," but America's too stupid to have it. Like how American feminists like uh, are totally okay with like women being enslaved in Saudi Arabia. Well, they're not okay but, with like, it, but, but like the fact that they're, they're here, priorities. Yeah. Like I mean, right, I remember one time being yeah. in the car with like this girl, this chick who would just like constantly be like, "Oh man, America just sucks for this reason." Oh, mm-hmm. you could just passingly mention something different about some other country, and they're like, "Oh." that's so much better than it is in America. Mm, yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think okay. that I think it's a natural uh a natural result of becoming the the most powerful opulent nation that it starts to destroy yeah. itself from within by people who felt like they didn't do anything to earn this opulence, feel guilty about it and take it out in this manner. Yeah, so guilt yeah, is big. this guilt should is be a big one. I'll add oikophobia to the topics list. We'll do this some other time. <laughs> okay. And we will title that episode We Hate White People. That's what we'll do. <laughs> I, um, Beautiful. Uh, there's mm-hmm. I feel like like um with like YouTube videos and 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 uh, like media that we consume at home or wherever, even music to a degree, but music still has festivals which are big and and live performances. But like mm-hmm. getting out of the house and going to see art is dying out a little bit at a time. Cinemas are now like not yeah, as yeah. big as they used to be, and they need to be like luxury in order to make any money at all. Um, mm-hmm. And I feel like. With you know the young people, they stay at home. They don't do anything. They 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 can get everything they ever wanted through the internet, and they can get the internet everywhere. Yep, yep. So like, at uh, in this time in this day in this age, uh, art pieces that you have to go and see are more valuable than ever. But nobody wants to go to them, and I understand because art galleries are stuffy, and and some of them you have to pay to get in and whatever. And and you know not you're not going to guarantee to find as much as you could get just googling stuff so what but but what i think (laughs) what i think is that the reason well i think the greatest piece of art in the modern age for this reason this podcast is no this podcast is pokemon Uh, go (laughs) oh now we're talking now because it combines video games with being a real human in the real world and going to places and having yeah. experiences and connecting with people in a way that no other mm-hmm. thing that you can do now really allows you to do. Speaking of Hippo, which... I've really enjoyed the gifts that you've been sending me from your local Pokestops. I've, li- I've, I've liked having you send gifts and then me Google searching what the Pokestop was that yeah. you had sent it from and be able to see where you are. It's yeah, cool. what's, what, what's this about gifts? Wait, what, what is this a thing in, in no, the game you can, now? No, you can trade. You yeah. 
Mage, I I, okay, I will cool. send you a gift. Yeah, I so think you I can add people to your friends list. Shit! Now yes. that I'm back in Boston, I gotta fucking get on the go train. I gotta go hard, dude. I got it. I got it downloaded. I got it downloaded. I'm going. I'm going. I will definitely say it is super. It is supremely art. That I remember back to the early 2000s in some kid's highly decked up, decorated blue room. Him showing me all of his Pokemon cards, and he's like the same age as me. And then warp to. Uh, 14 years later, being at a gazebo in Virginia Beach, seeing people huddled around playing Pokemon Go, including a, like, 60-something-year-old woman with oxygen hooked up to her fucking nose. I remember Whoa. that gazebo. I remember that gazebo. Yeah, the the people <laughs> that you meet while playing Pokemon Go are mothers, they're construction workers, they're, <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're all the same, they all are equally all heroes, the all, that you all, want to all see in participants society. in this great art yeah. piece we call yeah. Pokemon Go. Oh, you did send yeah. me a gift, thank you, Gib. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I actually, I have two things I need to say before we close out. First is to kind of go all the way back to the beginning, talking about, like, you know, postmodernism versus classical art, like the PragerU video. Um, I feel like those are like two ends of a spectrum of like art. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, like you have postmodernism, which I can appreciate the idea, or like people can appreciate the idea, but the execution is kind of basic. But on the sure. other hand, you have the classical art, where like the execution is masterfully done, but the the subject matter is very basic, it's just like the Bible. You know, or just like yeah. a portrait. Yeah. Yeah. So like, there's like this middle ground that I find the most appreciative is where you have skillful execution and an interesting idea, and that's like the art I like. Because like, right. as much as I can appreciate the uh, the time and energy put in like a classical painting, like I don't really not really a huge fan of that either. Because like, I'm like, okay. Like, right. It's bo- yeah, it's good. That's why right. that perfect middle ground, the perfect artistic medium, is shown in manga. Shown in exactly manga. the That's greatest, the happens. greatest art medium. Of. But mm-hmm. speaking of that, okay, I needed to. I, the one last thing I wanted to get off my chest is mm-hmm. the moment, the moment that fucking sure. uh, I, I hated the art world forever. Um, this is a bit of a, a bit of a story, but I, I'll wrap it up quickly. Okay. Um, back in like the early mid 2000s like if anyone who's doing art in like college or high school you know that like there was like this big like if you were trying to draw like a cartoony style like your art teachers hated you like this was like a meme and like whether it was true or not like a good idea or not is irrelevant to what i'm about to say um because like i was drawing like cartoons and shit like that was what i was into and i was like graduating high school and going into college and like everybody gave me shit for it and (laughs) <laughs> and it con- it was it was fucking infuriating because like I was trying to like do like realistic art to like work on my portfolio and shit and everyone's like you should just do that I'm like uh, but it's gay I don't like it um mm-hmm. but 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 I had like a portfolio and I went to uh a bunch of schools and like they all said it was shit because like oh we're fucking sick of anime get out of here it's gay we hate you go oh. die <laughs> so I'm like all right whatever so so I uh, right off the bat fucking pissed off but. I end up getting into a school and I go and whatever. And like the entire time it's like, okay, like I'm going to do like the art stuff here and I'm going to do my cartoon shit off the clock. Cause like, that's, mm, mm. that's a no go zone. We can't make that happen, whatever. And I'm taking art history class and I fucking hate it. And it's supremely disgusting. The, 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 the culture around like sucking all these artists dicks and like, like trying to like make all these things more complicated and more haughty than they actually are. And I just find it infuriating and, and, and obnoxious. But then 2010 we get to talking about a new art movement that started called super flat oh Ooh. no and i want to read oh, you the first that. sentence I know, I know, I know of super flat i know all about that shit in wikipedia super right. flat is a postmodern art movement which is influenced by manga and anime. Oh, so yeah. all oh, yeah. of a sudden, oh, yeah. now because it's a fucking <laughs> art movement, those same teachers who are like, cartoons are gay, are like, look at this beautiful, inspired art. And I'm like, you fucking cunts! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, but Super Flat is not just fucking anime art, right? No, it's not just, but the whole thing is like, you look at these pieces, it's clearly inspired no, by that I'm same aesthetic. No, I'm seeing lots of anime, yeah. Okay, yeah. and, 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 yes. so it's, it, no, it's, 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 I like the aesthetic, it's not like and, great, and, and, and therefore good. I'm, I'm but looking at super flat, flat art is usually great. Take a look at this one right here. Look at th- this is a little bit of anime, I think. In my uh, uh yeah, that might be a yeah. little anime, yeah. Nate. That might be just a bit anime. <laughs> so, so it's just like my point is that this is why I hate the art scene because it's like until it's like 
in the art scene, it's disgusting. But as soon as all of these right. other people are like, oh, well, this is art, I guess, now it's okay. Well, that and is it was bullshit. Where, and I hate when we, when we talk about these arbitrary reputations that people get, like, I mean, sometimes it's just because, like, they're a cunt and people relate to it. But sometimes it's because it's someone who comes along with a style that a lot of people can do or other people can do. But this one guy has the nerve and or charisma to shove it down everyone's face until they're forced to accept it as the new hotness. I don't Similarly really... to what a couple of analysts did on YouTube until eventually analysis became the new review, even though it used to be beaten down as overanalyzing before that point. I don't really get super i mean okay like it's not like i don't think that it looks good necessarily like like these just kind of like sprawling like series of like flat images in like a white void like i i get it uh i don't know seems pretty like seems a little uh what's the word not anne frank lisa frank that's the one <laughs> This uh, is yeah. very <laughs> similar. The Frank sister. I use Frank. them all the time. I, I'm definitely feeling some Anne Frank this, in here. Uh, this golden I statue you, looks a little Jesus bit three dimensional to me. Is that a whale lord statue? Uh, it, I, I googled super flat and a three dimensional thing came up, and I was like, "That's not." Well, that's just that's doesn't no make good. any sense. <laughs> that's, no good. that's not. That's not. Fun. Uh, well. Well, well, Tom, funny thing you mentioned Superflat, because I actually learned about Superflat myself just a few months ago Superflat. while visiting but while, while visiting the Fine yeah. Arts Museum in Boston, Massachusetts. God, in my I, own, I in my own town, of Superflat, <laughs> my own backyard, something. my oppressor <laughs> is on display. Uh, he, mm. th there, was an entire, there was an entire section dedicated to him. And at the museum, I realized that I absolutely adore the idea of museums, and I don't mind paying to see museums. I just feel persecuted, and I do not like all of the art that is in museums. I, I like the concept of them, but I hate them all the time. Uh, for instance, this is not the Fine Arts Museum, but there's another museum in Boston for art called the Institute of Contemporary Art. And when I went to there, there was a there was a uh, an exhibit all on art created in the internet period. And there's a lot of you know digital art, and there's a lot of shit that would be recognizable to stuff like you know you and me. There wasn't like DeviantArt and shit. But there was a lot of like you know hip trendy Memes internet everywhere. shit that commentated on a lot of modern issues and that stuff i absolutely adored i love that exhibit with all my heart and that was the funniest i've ever had at any museum ever sadly it's over now i went but... to a, a museum during a con because i had a comics class as an elective in college and we went to a museum that just had comic art and they had art like the original cover of my favorite cover of my favorite comic on display and i like nutted Whoa. it everywhere i know it, it it's great so so i just i want to know because I, I i've been trying to search for other similar institute of contemporary arts but i can't find any in san diego and i want to know why <laughs> I, I want to bang on the clouds and ask god why why are museums gay and stuffy and dusty and bad because okay i i go i go to the 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 museum of fine arts in san diego and it's fine and i like it and, and it's just all right and it has that famous pain that famous pain that i had in my avatar for a while where the guy's holding his finger up to his head and he looks like he's thinking real hard. And it was you saw The Thinker? That's in Boston? For my inclusion of it and not for its the own plunderer. merit. Oh, oh, no, the, the, no, not, the no, not, no, that this Greek the, guy. The okay, oh, yeah. Of, the, the Ponderer, yeah. The Ponderer. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Uh, and it's fine and all. But where are the fucking anime? Where's the super flat? Where's yeah. the colors? Word, Where's where are the, the memes? Unique, cool, stylistic drive. That's, that's correct. what I want to see. That's what it comes down to. Munchie, you should come to London, yes. and we can go uh, on like a gallery hop. I, I would absolutely love to do that. Be, be, okay, I, I can't. I cannot stress it enough. Going to the France Museum, seeing the Takashi exhibit, uh, and seeing specifically uh, that this is the full title of the painting, by the way, "Dragon in the Clouds: Red Mutation." The version I painted Whoa. when my professor told me to paint something myself for one. Uh, by Takashi. Uh, that's uh, one of my favorite paintings yeah. of all time. Uh, fucking great. And uh, going to the Institute of Contemporary Art, seeing all the internet. I'm, I'm going to link you. I'm going to have to get some of this shit and I'll put it in the show notes. But it's absolutely incredible the shit I saw there. I took a lot of videos. Uh, it was beautiful. I just, I just, th this is all just a call to arms. Museums, please house and patronize modern contemporary art from the internet and, you know, just general contemporary stuff. I, li I like Renaissance paintings. I just want more contemporary and down-to-earth casual shit and stylistic drawings. That's what I like. I would love to have, like, a vlog of, of, of uh, Hippo and Munchie going on a London art hop. Actually, that reminds me, back in 
me and Digi's trip to Atlanta, me uh, and Ben, we were, we were walking down yeah. that one, like, hipster street, and we just started, like, rating every painting and mural we saw out of five, and then sometimes we said out of seven and out of twelve sometimes, and we just thought this should be a show of just the two of us go to, like, anything and then rate the aesthetics of everything ever. Davu, you and I have such different, have like such different uh, aesthetics oh, yes. uh, consideration. One. We have just have, we just value, I think we value very different things. So I think that would be interesting. Right. Yeah. So. Well. Next, next time. Make it next so, time. team. Make it so. Okay. And with that, I think it's finally time to delete this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> delete. All right. This has all been a Thank postmodern God. experiment. In art that no one will ever yeah. see. We actually wasn't. Re- we weren't recording any of this. Dude, the most <laughs> postmodern way to do a podcast is just have a fucking link to a zip file of all of the Audacity projects, not even converted to WAVs yet, right? I think it's even most modernism to send a screenshot of all the audio files in a folder and not <laughs> give them access to it. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay. My, my favorite thing that I this is the last thing I promise. The last thing, the, the best thing I saw at the industry of contemporary art, which I don't remember the name of, which I I, I, I think it's <laughs> called My Best Thing. But it was this like 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 multi series episodic adventure. I would say recreate in some sort of like text to speech and like like go anime <laughs> but three D models that look like Roblox. It was some sort of like 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 put directly into that to make these uh t- uh text to speech robots speak things and it was a conversation that happened in real life where an art teacher who was a female went on like porn sites or, or, or more, more accurately like, like omegle chat roulette sites and had like philosophical insights with a nice. horny uh, <laughs> italian man with his dick out the entire time wow and it was cool as fucking hell it was great <laughs> and it's called my best, best thing, thing 2011 i'm not sure though um it excellent. was great i love it i, I voted it good shit <laughs> The main segment of this episode's audio dialogue was significantly edited and spaced out to the effect that you could generally hear what everyone has to say. People who try to butt in but don't get an actual sentence in are simply muted, their, their uh, failed sentences aborted and deleted from the timeline, and times where three or four different people say something at once are actually spaced out to create sort of an artificial comedic timing. I only did that for everything in the episode up to this point. Now that we're in the questions and fan stuff, uh, that's all going to be much more freeform with much less editing, just removing some of the noise, not changing the timing of anything. I guess let us know if you can notice and appreciate and value the difference because I'm interested in seeing how much better podcasts can be with this added effort, but I'm not sure if its market value will result in a net profit. All right, guys, let's get down to it. Here We got a couple of things to talk about real quick uh, as we as we recap uh, the events since last week's episode. Number one on the agenda, let's talk about how Radcon 3 Arena IRL came out, hey. and it was a fucking triumph, oh, yeah. and it was incredible. Yeah. Uh, everyone sick loves it. Fuck. It was truly decadent, <laughs> truly delectable. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> we had doubters out there, but we proved them all wrong. There were doubters, and now they are uh, down syndromers. That's what wow. they. That's what wow. happened to them. The doubters are you now doubters. You, you could have said doubters and made it a water-based pun because it's drowders. really hot. Ooh. That's tr- you know that would have been good. That would have been good. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just wanted to say that that was great. Go watch it if you haven't already. Uh, show notes. Watch the video. It's, it's also like the last video on the funny. channel. <laughs> it's great. Gib edited it. It's incredible. I haven't been in the last couple of episodes, oh. so I don't know what's happening in the PCP sphere of influence. But I know that the childhood episode has gone up, which I was on, mm-hmm. and in which Mage was some sort of gang warlord leader in the streets of South Africa. Essentially, that uh, that's that is what's happening now. Mage is that was actually as... uh, we we continue that meme in the fighting episode. Mage is now Indeed. the violent violence. <laughs> that is her name. Mage denies that she was the leader oh, of the violent God. violence, but we think she, I just think she. <laughs> I mean, that sounds war crimes, like something, she needs that, sounds to pay like something that the violent done. violence would say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. In, indeed it does. The, the, the violent indeed violence, does. like, addition to the canon is the best thing the PCP and its fandom has final, produced. Final 
question. Mm-hmm. Final question. Have you ever seen okay. Mage and the Violet Violence in the same place at the same time? No? Proof oh. positive. There we go. That, if something go. is oh. proven, then it's true. Wait, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what was if the you, fun? If, if two things are proof. both said, then it's correct. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the rule. That's the rule we're going things. by. <laughs> uh. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know. I have nothing else to say about that. So let's just move. I the think fuck we're. Yeah, I think we've exhausted. Yeah. we've exhausted. Yeah. About the previous. I am about exhausted. The previous episode. I have some things to say. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sure. A lot sure. of people. Well, not a lot of people. Several people mentioned the the little tangent we had, um, and. Mm-hmm. I, I was sort of like somewhat indecisive but disagreeing with you, but now I can firmly say I completely disagree with you. After reading the comments, I I saw okay. I saw the error in your ways. I forget what was the argument. It's about, uh, it's about, about um, people should be allowed to uh, refuse service to people. Yeah. That's right. I, That's right. I, okay. I I am for freedom of speech and freedom of expression, but I'm also for. But... I'm also for. <laughs> Um, equal opportunity, and like we were only focusing. Well, you're also. Well, uh, uh, aren't you saying? I mean, a specific case was that you can't compel people to do something if they don't choose to. But you're arguing against that. No, I'm, wait, I'm arguing. Wrong. I don't understand what's being argued here. Okay. I wasn't on the last episode. All right, we were talking about. Um, yeah, let's recap. A, 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 mm-hmm. you know, the, the this possibility. This was on the fighting <laughs> episode, by the way. True. Very weird. Which I'm sad that dreamer. I missed, but oh well. It, yeah, I, I had a lot to say about fighting. Uh, there's uh, the possibility yeah. of like a town where the there's just one Walmart, and it for some reason denies mm-hmm. service to uh, everyone in the town. And we were we were arguing like, yeah. well, they are a company and they can choose to deny service to whoever they like. Uh, but should the government force them to sell things oh. to those well, people? Well, on my position on this, I can explain in 30 seconds, is that in this reality, yes, because we live in a world where this whole dream of freedom to choose what you want is compromised in a million ways anyway. Like, yeah, there's a thousand laws that force companies to like have to conform to things that they shouldn't have to in a free country, but there's a million laws forcing employees and consumers to conform to a bunch of things that they shouldn't have to do in a free country. And if you only give the additional freedom if you only give back freedoms to companies, you better at least be giving the same amount of freedoms back to consumers and workers, right? The fucking uh, the, mm-hmm. the fucking structure of oppression and compromises on freedom in this culture is like a Jenga statue, and if you just take apart pieces of it haphazardly, it's gonna cr- it's gonna crash. Jenga. Right. I, I couldn't tell what side you're on <laughs> was, based was, on that. Was... Good, <laughs> very fucking good. You can't okay. just decide what side I'm on. You have to actually listen to me. <laughs> Basically, what I, w- I want to say, it can completely compromise a person's livelihood because we were talking mostly about Walmart, but what about mm-hmm. like public services? Like a bus can get you. Well, that, those are public. Those are government well, well, owned. That's a totally so different yeah. situation. Kind of, you know, like no, 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 no. Completely untrue. That like, is the opposite of publicly owned. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little hard to explain what I like mean. Like public uh, services. I think. Well, here's the Everyone thing. Here's the, the right thing where it actually water gets and electricity and and heat. I think a better example than well, something like pay Walmart the company. would be yeah. something yeah. like Google or the internet, because that's like yeah. those are those are companies that well, are okay. So... We should be clear. Right now, these things are all publicly owned. If you want to argue that they are effectively utilities and they should be treated that way legally, then fair enough. But that is not how they are right now. Right. Should so you know hmm. it's relevant. It's relevant. In any right, case, and that's my point. Like, should I, I they wanna, be regulated as such? I don't want to prolong this debate. I'm just saying that, like, I. It's too late, Mage. I just, I just it's part to two. Make a it's happening right I now. Mean, I wanted to make a hard statement that I. But straight up, Mage. Straight up, Mage. If you, if 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 a guy, if you walk in and you want to get gay married, and you walk in to a cake shop, as as the as the thing goes, and the guy says like, "Sorry, but I don't make cakes for gay people. Uh, I, like, I, it's against my religion. I, I think it's wrong. I have a sincere religious belief." You think he should have to make no. that cake? Are you arguing for that? I said. No. I said. Okay. Like- all right. Like I said, she was I'm, saying large corporations, right? Yeah, like, yeah, basically that. Like I don't. Why does that matter? Why is I, it? it there, there's a difference, but I said I don't want to like prolong this conversation. I just like. But 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 but, but, but you... uh, I don't want to have to defend no, my no, beliefs. No, no, no. I just want to say <laughs> them and not be contested on them. them. Last episode, I did say like there's a difference. Like uh, you know, it's just a mom and pop shop. It's just it just it's just that one shop in one area. No one really cares like if it goes uh-huh. under or not. It's not gonna affect 
the economy or the people's livelihood or whatever. But like, if Walmart, mm -hmm. all all of Walmart decides to not sell to a certain demographic of people, well, that's gonna like screw stuff up. Like for instance, where I live, there's only like one Asda store in the mm -hmm. whole region, and otherwise, I'd have to like maybe like I don't know, take a bus to a different town to get like food. And what's really convenient about Asda is that it's a 24-7 ASDA. So if at midnight I, I suddenly realize, oh, I'm out of food because my sleep schedule is awful, I can just go to ASDA and buy some food. Uh, but, like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to do that if they decide to not sell to Lithuanians anymore, right. you know? So so, so the, the rebuttal true. to that would be, oh, so people have to be controlled by law because they're so successful? Like, um, oh, oh, specifically, there's this one uh, documentary called Fathead, which is a response to Super Size Me that brings up, it, it, it defends, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't say McDonald's is a good company, but it sort of rebuts a lot of the complaints. One of the criticisms of, of McDonald's back when they had play places prominently, they would argue that it's, the, it's manipulating children and families into eating unhealthy food and giving them money because they have a, you know, a recreational activity for kids, and some kids don't have access to recreational activities otherwise. So it's manipulating their, it's exploiting their needs. To which the, the mean, Fathead documentary says, what? well, the federal government didn't give those kids a play place. The local government didn't give those kids a playground. Yeah. Ronald yeah. McDonald did, and Ronald McDonald is to be seen as evil for being the only one who gave them one, right? So you can say similarly, like, oh, because Walmart is successful, it now has to get fucked over. It's similar to, it's but similar to like, oh, this happens in fucking... How? Right. Well, this happens in Iron Man 2, basically, where the government's like, you know, Tony Stark, you've made such good inventions that you don't <laughs> any longer get to own them, right? Now, my rebuttal to that well, like, would be... I get to, to a degree, what if a, an inventor just invents a doomsday weapon? Like, okay, right. like, now we can have a conversation, right. which effectively is what Tony right. Stark has but, done. But, but, He's but, so, but, so So my feeling on that is because I very much feel in my... In, Let's submit the philosophy of Iron Man. Yeah, Let's in my... <laughs> yeah, uh, the philosophy Another of Tony day. Stark 15-minute video, right? So... My fucking, I feel Everyone. the libertarianism in my very veins. I feel that, like, mm -hmm. you know, like, you shouldn't be penalized for obtaining power and success. But then I have to remember, you know, there's a reason why we came up with this whole freedom and, uh, like, free economy and capitalism and, and freedom from the government in the first place, right? It was because governments also got too successful and powerful like we didn't even really have this whole like freedom thing be a thing until around a, a certain point of colonialism when governments became so big and bloated that they started becoming a real obvious problem and we were able to identify how we could do things better and at this point the concept of the corporation is becoming very similar they're becoming these international fucking nations unto themselves yeah, often yeah. with more gdp so like you know maybe it's time to update our philosophy on what's right and wrong because 500 years ago nobody probably thought that it like the idea of a nation telling you what to do was wrong we had to invent that idea right and it was it's not it has nothing to do with like the fact that one type of entity makes laws and the other type of entity makes profits it all comes down to one thing control yeah. being conglomerated in a couple of people who have the power and the ability to to control other people yeah yep generally i agree that's it's it. not it's not as black and white as either of us were saying it. I'm on happy the previous we have episode. Devil here That's today. Uh, and I'm aware of that too. Yeah. Uh, uh mm -hmm. on fighting, one time I was six and in like well not six, I I'm more like it was eight and I was in the fourth grade. And uh, some high school junior yeah. tried to come up to me and fuck with me, <laughs> and I literally beat the shit out of him. Hell yeah! Fourth grade, and I destroyed him. <laughs> Dude, him. one time, one time. No, 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 no. We are not going into fighting. That was last episode. Goddamn it! Okay. This is not a rehash of the entire fucking fighting <laughs> Fair episode. Enough. Show up to the episode if you want to be on it. Uh, All right, but. That being said, if you want to tell one thing. <laughs> oh, really? oh, okay. there was just this, there was this, there was this <laughs> fucking kid in my neighborhood who was like super lame and insecure and would be a huge whiny butt and I'd make fun of him, uh, but like not in like a, I don't think in too much of a bullying way. I would just point out how pathetic he's being. And he took like military <laughs> class and judo and shit. And so, like, we were just that that was making like, just like, wrestling and like you know like okay you versus you okay now you versus you. So it was me versus him, and I don't have any fighting skills or athleticism. Mm -hmm. But I'm like five inches taller than him, three years older than him. He just like pulls uh -huh. me over and like throws me like just suplexes me onto my back, and I'm, it didn't <laughs> even hurt. It was on the grass, but I'm like. Okay, cool. You've turned your fucking like impotent rage into something, something somewhat potent. G good job. You did it. 
you have some respect now. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, good. Nate, you there are you, you are uh, an fight, egg. Everyone. You are like you, you're <laughs> an you're egg. an egg, and you've got like a marker, and you draw on the on the shell like angry eyes. Mm-hmm. You got this hard outer <laughs> yeah. shell, and you're like, yes, I'm very <laughs> tough. And and then as soon as anything happens to you, you're so soft. You're so soft. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you could have another girl, Actually, I'm okay with it. No, no, I'm a hard-boiled egg. I'm tough inside. I'm resilient as well. Yeah, no, nothing's I, nothing's I, I, harder and more and more resistant to damage than a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> art people it draw draw Nate off. as an egg. That's the new yeah. art uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, all right. That sounds Neg. good. That sounds good. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll, neg- I'll neg you your gotta, girl. You I'll neg your girl. Best. Uh, that's egg. Okay. Funny, Funny side, side up. up. Uh, our document tells us that the next section is the question section. Let's fucking pull up some goddamn questions. <laughs> uh, are, are, are the, co- the corporation CEO corporate said this is the next section that we must like address for a our conversation. Q&A section. Way to obfuscate responsibility, Mr. Bestman. Well, listen to this one. Uh, at, at suck on my big PBS. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait. That's a question in and of itself. <laughs> All right, here we go. Prostate massage? Yes or no? Sure, why not? Next um, question. Sounds, yeah. oh, um, <laughs> I'll take two. We, we do not. Is this our, a pity question? Is that was the pity right, well, question. Hold on. Hold on. I can answer that. Well, uh, 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 th- there's a question here about IGTV. Do we want to go okay, into I that? I want to just point out, my, my answer episode. on prostate massages is that they are uncomfortable, but pretty relaxing if you're comfortable with the person doing it. Oh, my God. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> 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 is that Gross. is this building to something? Gross. Okay, no. Okay. Sick. Um. Uh, okay. You know, I'm not going to read this question about IGTV because I think we're going to talk about that later on, uh, or like next week or something. Okay. That uh, fucking questions bar. Who, who's got one? I'm, I'm going to go pull one up. What do you got for us? Um. None of There's... them are worthy. Why do we do this if there are no worthy um, questions? Well, that, that you know why? It's because you guys told them that art was the subject. This is what you get. This is what you get when you when you mention that the topic is going to be art. That all the questions are boring shit. We've already a- answered in the fucking episode. True. A lo- no, yeah. Uh, what What does this have to do with art? Modern, <laughs> modern or classic Sonic? Postmodern Sonic. Modern and Dude, they they, they Sonic. have they literally have I postmodern like... Sonic games. Remember that that weird one oh, where you, you oh, date? Oh yeah, that one. Um, yeah, Sonic, uh, that Sonic is Dreams. a postmodern Sonic, Sonic game. Oh shit! Yeah, that's Sonic the one. Dreams that's the Collection. One. Fuck. Uh, I like modern oh, Sonic. God. You go in three D. You go really fast. Well. Uh, I guess uh, Sonic Mania is actually it is classic Sonic by form. It is just the latest, the latest one. Yes. you know. So that's just good. I liked it. Uh, modern uh, Modern Sonic versus classic Sonic is not interesting. But what is interesting is classic Mickey Mouse versus modern Mickey Mouse. And I actually have mm. a very hard line opinion with this. Uh, most okay. The, uh, Classic Mickey Mouse actually had a revival recently in the form of the modern Disney channel on YouTube Mickey Mouse shorts. And everyone praises Mm. those because they are quite good. But I actually do not like the art style because I feel like it is disingenuous to pretend that Mickey Mouse is not the modern Mickey Mouse. And to go back on it is just jarred me. But I saw on Toontown, I cannot find any photographic evidence of this. So you just have to pretend what I'm saying is true. Uh, But uh, in Toontown at Disneyland, there is... Is a there's a lineup of characters. There is a mural on a wall that depicts the gang: Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Pluto, and <laughs> Danger Dolan. And they are all there. And they are actually a combination of the colors of modern, uh, uh-huh. the modern incarnation of the character, but Weird. with the designs of the previous ones, except the skin tone. Dude, the skin that's tones like, do that's not like in, translate, so they just are white. And that is the best. That is that's the best like in interpretation. Two, as the way uh, to final go. mix: How Sora gets a new form called the uh, Limit Form, which is when he gets a cool color scheme from Kingdom Hearts 1. It was mm, awesome. Speaking of Kingdom Dude, Hearts here, here, 2, remember how Mickey looks like fucking shit? Oh, yeah. no. so, okay, here's, here's my postulate, right? For Metal Gear Solid, right? Metal Gear Solid 1 is modern Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid 2 is postmodern MGS. Postmodern. And yep. MGS yep. 3 is classic MGS. It, it just like did it in the opposite timeline or reverse order. Metal Gear Solid 2 is proof that postmodern art is not all bad or anything. It is, uh, like, the best game ever made. Uh, modern, classic, uh, by the way, and postmodern, this question... it should be a meme that you can apply to everything. <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, this question, by the way, about modern or classic Sonic was from Jayhawk DX. Just, 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 just uh, He you know. really needs the, the exposure. 
I know, right? Guys, who, wh- which Mickey do you like better? I gotta go Modern classic. Mickey. I don't like classic, 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 classic Mickey, right? I don't like any it's gotta Mickey be. Yeah, either. Now, 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 when you say classic Steam Mickey, Boat you Willie. The I'm talking Steamboat Willie. It, 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 the, the Mickey that did not have the hairline, but it had the eyes. I'm talking Willie. That's the, what the I'm giant talking giant eyes. About. Like, like, this. like, 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 fucking Stone if Age you're posting Mickey's. a comparison. Look, look at this straight up rat. He looks look great. Straight up he looks rat. Look at his eyes. Like he's got Pac Man's. No, no, I'm not saying the pupils. I'm saying look at yeah, yeah. Oh, look he's at got the, the Sonic, the just like outline. one eye with two pupils thing going on. Is that yeah. what you're talking about? Dude, now I get sick. it. Now sick. I understand where yeah. Sonic comes from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, wait, there was another question here. Where the fuck did it go? Uh, it was something about shit. Whose question was that? Wait, I got it. Where the fuck did it go? Hashtag up with Victor. There it is. Why is the group piss the greatest example of modern art in human history? Let's just dissect the art that is the group piss. Uh, <laughs> it was good. That's all I have to say. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it was my and invention. It was, um, I pushed it was, for uh, it. It was I, my actually, idea, as we know, I that curation is the ultimate form of art, and it was literally my idea to film it. Therefore, I deserve one hundred percent of the credit for doing so. Disgusting. Get banned. You are banned from the PCP. Uh, <laughs> That's, I that's my, my favorite the rest part of literally the group trash. is that we all created our own art pieces in the snow. That's true. That's that true. true. It's like a time. These, seven the rest art. of these questions. These are all bad. I, these are no, all I bad see questions. Two questions. I kind of want to answer, maybe. Uh, okay. If you want to buy a yellow poo, do you guys think becoming mainstream is inherently damaging to the original vision of a product? Maybe. Not inherent. No, you know what's not inherent. Not. You know what's that art. No you know what's sense. art. Shut that up. Maid just had to read the words "yellow poon" uh, unironically, <laughs> and is, uh, you know, <laughs> and it's forever you know, that's recorded. just what what a, what a world. What a world. For yep, a world. Yeah. Yeah. there it is. Dude, that's gonna come back to haunt you someday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. What was the uh, other question? You guys, Hold on, actually, yeah. I. I I do oh, want to yeah. say, like, I, for- I forgot to answer the, that yeah, one. Yeah. Right. I mean, there is a cracked article, like six artists who became famous after they sold out, right? Uh, like, who sure. like became good, including the Beatles. They originally were much more punk before they were reined in for having identical hairstyles and stuff. And also, I think the ultimate example is that Michelangelo didn't want to paint. He preferred sculpting, and the church kept yeah. roping him back in to keep painting. He's like, "Fine, I'll paint your goddamn ceiling." <laughs> so there you go. I, what if my art form is accruing currency? What if that is like my Donald art piece? Trump. Uh, uh, I, I think have, I have to draw the line on what's art at some point. point. Yeah. I, I think like when once you're popular, the greatest artist of all time, George was, Soros. I think when you're popular, yeah, there's a pressure to keep doing what you're doing and less experimenting. So like you could potentially, mm-hmm. but it depends on how well you do under pressure and how like. It's you true. have to balance the pressure and you gotta, your own vision. That's true. You have to I make think, sure that when you get popular, you're getting popular doing something you actually want to do for a long right, time. Right, right. If you so get popular guess, doing something you hate, this, you're fucked. This guy may be yeah. talking yeah. from the lens of like a series of like video games. Like uh, uh, the first one was small, but then it gets big and and it changes as it goes but along. Then they change like like fucking because like n- or th- there's you know? no way the ben, original vision of a pro- of like if if a project. Sorry, if a product I... um, exists, and and mm, then it mm. becomes mainstream. It hasn't changed at all. It's just like people's perception of it. And I and, and to yeah. yeah and to Tom's point, like he got popular, you know, doing like the pony videos that he, uh, from his own words, hated doing. So like that's no fucking good. Uh, you know, that's not gonna last. And uh, and it didn't. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, the second question. Tom, why oh, you no. get to Tom. <laughs> Got him. Fuck. Sometimes you can really trigger 2013 memories in me, man. <laughs> um, I got nothing else to say about it. Oh, uh, Mage, what's well, your other mine. question? Uh, Kajiro right. Bitter, 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 Bitter Thorn. Yeah, if, if you had to choose mm-hmm. between being deaf or being blind for one month, which would you pick? Oh, for one okay. month. All right. Oh, um, that's a, that's a softball version of this question. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I it like is. this one it much is. more. <laughs> Um, well, uh, having been deaf kind of in one ear for more than a month, I would definitely mm-hmm. pick being blind. Cause but what about the devil you know, you know, might be better than the devil you don't know. I choose death for sure. Just I, cause I, I choose <laughs> death. I just want to be dead for one month. That's what I would go with. <laughs> no, I choose blindness free. because, um, I have musical talents that I can use to entertain right. myself. And, uh, people will do things for me because there's no way I could do things by myself. 
I mean, I choose you know, I, I choose kinda, deaf for the yeah. exact same reason because if I was deaf, I could still draw. But if I was blind, I exactly. could. Same, same. Right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Well. So like, I would I would pick deaf because I could work on like fuck, yeah, yeah, I could yeah, work I on did. shit for a while. If I was blind, I couldn't. I couldn't. Do anything. I couldn't make a video if I was deaf. Right. I mean, that's a tough. That's one That's a for blessing me in disguise. Fuck making videos. It's gay. <laughs> True. I, I probably do use visual stuff significantly more than audio. But like, I'm thinking to myself right now, and like, for when it comes to work, like, like vision would probably be the more important one. But I, when I when I think about like, what would the world be like oh, to me if I was God. either deaf or blind? And I'm just like, what would make the world like? I'm thinking about the nightmare of living through a month without this thing that I've had my whole life. And I think not having sight would be more bearable than not yeah. having audio. Yeah, you know because, what I mean? Yeah. Well, Are you serious? Hippo, you have. Uh, I, don't I don't think know. so. I mean, no, the Hippo has a whole vlog where he, he makes the case that, that being uh, deaf would be more I, scary than being blind. I can't listen to my blind. ASMR if I don't have hearing. I can't right. do it. I have. I because can't, your brain I is it. accustomed to hearing 24-7, and your eyes are accustomed to sometimes not seeing. So yeah. being deaf would take something away that you're much more used to. I would agree. It's just I'd also like to get shit done in that month. Also, I think... I, I've heard Rush Limbaugh say that being deaf will piss people off because people can't relate to that fact. Like, if you can't see, it's easy for people to figure out what you're not getting. But if you can't mm. hear, especially if you can barely hear because you have implants, people are going to get pissed off that you can't ever, like, understand them properly. Well, but, uh, I don't thank interact God that we with still, anyone. The one ex- thing I don't so interact it's with fine. people. Exactly. It, you know, I contest this, but it's so fucked up. The one acceptable form of bullying is against deaf people. One day, we'll, we'll get over that uh, that hurdle, but Wait, for yeah. now. It, fuck you if you're deaf. You can't even hear what I'm saying, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Got him. I mean, that's, Got that's him. funny. <laughs> um no I, I i love you uh anyway wait i what? think that's i think Justin, don't worry about boiled it. Egg over i think here. we're no i think we're done with questions i don't <laughs> i'm not even sure say. where you were directing that is that uh, me that was adorable uh well <laughs> I I can't, I, don't, I choose not to comment. All right, moving on. Moving on. It's time, team, for the PCP theme contest. Everybody's favorite part oh, of the week. Oh shit! It's time to get right the fuck <laughs> so down. How many do we have this week? Less, right? Let me let me count real quick. Correct. Uh, sorry, uh, what was that, Mage? What was that, Mage? Last, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. We're doing the fan art last. That's true. Which we, we've got some good ones. Uh, let me just count real quick. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven entries Whoa. that have been submitted. Oh my god. So let me, all right, let me see if this works in the easy way here. All right, let me, I'm just going to fucking do the bot here. All right, let's see. I'm going to play it right now. Let's see if this fucking thing works. This one that I'm I'm linking is from at Alien Observer. All right, give me a sec to make sure this works. Play. All right, here we go. Indeed. Oh, okay. That did not work. Let me, let me me fix this. I got to get it from the actual thing. Nope, stop. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, And here we go. Play. <laughs> I can barely hear it. Mm, yeah. Uh, boring. Right, right click on rhythm and turn the volume. Whoa. Um, <laughs> is, this, is this a real one or is this like ripped off from somebody? It feels like too pro, you know? Uh, wait, Whoa. I heard me. Oh shit! Yeah. Guys, why are you talking? We this can't real. hear you. Whoa! <laughs> this is pretty great. Yes. This is nuts. Munch, right. I really feel embarrassed well. now. <laughs> Damn! All those name drops. <laughs> um. Dude, well, okay. it's very funny. I, some, I, I'm, I didn't know that anyone okay. that fucking low register watched us. That's was, cool. Was, the, but was, I'm that, not gonna... was that fucking blowing out the mic for all you guys, too? Was that, like, clipped as fuck? Or was that just I, my I shitty think headphones? You, no. no, that was I, you. Okay. So, yeah, that I was mean, definitely I'm not going to vote for that, that, should... is, that is pretty impressive. But, yeah. I'm going to listen to it again We should. I mean, damn. Okay. We should use that shit for, like, something. All right, that was like the most well produced one I think we've got. I feel like far. some Radcon yeah. four like like montage of us like slow walking together could be set to that, you know? Yeah, oh, totally, dude. Yeah. By the way, uh, this is Akazi on SoundCloud, dude. That was fucking great. sick. I can tell you put a ton of work uh, into it. <laughs> oh, just one of them is multiple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Akazi as opposed right. to the Kazi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I I feel bad. Like I don't really think it works as like an intro or anything, but yeah. I really liked it. 
Ben. Ben, I can hear that fucking shit. Turn it down, god damn it. Yeah, Ben, are you <laughs> retarded? You can't play music out um, of your speaker okay. when you're recording them with your microphone. <laughs> I think you have brain damage. This might be the best one yet. I, I kind of think supremely it is the best disagree, one. but it I, is I think to explain, listen. Wait, wait, explain yourself. Expli- explain. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. I guess, I, yeah. I guess yeah. we haven't. It is like the you. best produced. Is, wait, 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 wait. wait. I mean, let me, let me lay out my case. It's the best produced, okay. and it's mm-hmm. specific, and it's high energy. I mean, you're not wrong. It's got, like, you're all the wrong. things that we want going for it. Mm, I, I gotta dis- be honest. It's it's the vibe. It's the vibe. I that I, yeah, it's no, like, it doesn't jive. I don't think me. of it as high energy. I think of it more as like chill energy. It's and it's cool I don't know, for I, us. I, I'm not like against. I'm not against <sighs> it chill. Is too cool for us. I'm not against chill, by the way. But it doesn't have a melody. Like it doesn't have a catchy melody. Uh, and I also like I'm I'm mm-hmm. any any theme is going to probably lose a bunch of points if it has vocals at all. I think something just. That's dumb. Uh, I like that's, well, that's, I know we disagree on that. Totally there's, there's disagreement. And, there's disagreement there. Yeah, and then but, even yeah. within that category, you're almost certainly going to lose a lot of points for me as to uh, an intro I'd actually want to have. If it's like, like the lyrics are like explicitly referencing what the PCP is and name dropping it. Like, I mean, the worst no, is if it, it like, should like, do. That, that is that's what it should do. That is what it should I want that. Yeah. I want oh, I mean, I'm going to respectfully, like, no, I totally get the idea that like a theme song references the people. I get it. My tastes, I don't like that at all. Get I would prefer out. like lyrics that. <laughs> I would prefer all my favorite theme songs are theme songs that don't directly say what the fuck the show is, but kind of abstractly say it, like a Cruel Angel's thesis or the South Park opening. Uh, Look, the two best okay, anime not pieces. Sure. Yeah. Take you back to the past. This is Neon <laughs> Genesis <laughs> Evangelion. I am. Listen, a listen boy. to this. <laughs> 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 Here's what I think about that. It is too yeah. late. It is too late in the game for us to uh-huh. like grab a song that will become like indelibly linked to us and like an iconic piece of people. I disagree. It it's all a matter late. of whether we've or not we use a, it for We've already had 8,000 episodes with the, without the song. Mm. Uh, mm. I, just, I just don't... I think it would well, be... I think mm. that's too much to hope for. That we find like the perfect okay, song. I don't, you I might don't, be true. I don't even yeah. care. Whatever. The point, I mean like, you know what? It's, it's, it's kind of a Cruel Angel's thesis to say this, but fucking Procrastinator <laughs> yeah, by that. Endless Jess already basically did this. It like is, it's, it's, it's yeah, more it in is. line with what I say, you what I'm what? saying here, right? I like, right. I like how I, 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 Dude, I, I, dude, I, dude, I, dude, I, dude I, audience, I audience, I just want to say, I just want to say, audience, don't, uh-huh. Ben wants to discourage you from making a classic PCP theme. I Lol. say no, if the song Ooh. is great, it will become classic. I, right. Okay. Um, I, I think that this is very, very mm. good, and I like it a lot, but I kind yeah. of agree that the Endless Jess theme is very, like, yeah, that's that's us. So why not? How about, here's a thing, take the melody from that and turn it into whatever thing you're doing. What? Um, I, what? Hmm. Kind of T- turn totally the melody of, that? like, dun 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 no, 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 and make no, it no, more no. like we that, but, like, that. like faster that's and better and gooder. I think... Like, hmm. I, did somebody like uh, rap over well, that or something? What's, sort of what's the point of that? We sung the Jesse song. Yeah, because it's, it's the melody that people recognize. I but the whole problem was that we didn't think that it had the right vibe. Yeah, yeah we yeah, get the true. same melody also, with a better right. vibe. The, Maybe, but the, I want to ask about what Jesse thinks of that. So, first. like the night before, I don't care remix. what Jesse thinks. <laughs> <remix. laughs> it's our song. We are. Oh, we, we, uh, we, 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 he gave it to us. He can't Indian give it away. Oh my god. I want to <laughs> I mean, hear I, what people. I suppose so. Interpret us as and like. I mean, it's worth a shot. I, I mean, I I think this is way more fun having people just like. Don't you come think it's a little yeah, exactly. late in the MPs. game to like start putting like stipulations on what is or isn't acceptable? Like, well, that's the 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 thing is everything is acceptable. It's just about what we like. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Every single time this section of the show comes up, everyone debates if it's a good section or not. If it has know, quality, what what are the rules right. of? I, I, I feel so e- bad. bad for, for, I feel so bad as for heroes like Akazi who have slaved away and worked really hard on something, right. and this is good. I want to say just, that it, this is a clusterfuck of a of a. Let, I want to say all this bureaucracy is really segment. bullshit, isn't it? Everyone, Nate? everyone, shut up. We know we know this segment is a clusterfuck. We we know. Okay, we know. Right. I like that. I want to make clear nothing I have ever said uh, on this segment do I intend to be a hard and fast rule in my mind like it's all like suggestions but like I, I will 
upvote whatever I think truly deserves it, and it can break all the sure. rules I've stipulated, right? All right. Yeah. He, he just, he, here's what's going yeah. to happen. It, there will be a time. I think we established that the cutoff for the themes was, I think, the end of July. Is that what we said, Tom? Yeah, really? Said, right? Oh, shit. That's this right. is doomed. <laughs> so we said uh, the July... Th you say it's doomed, but we've already gotten good... Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. The point is, <laughs> by the end... July 31st is the cutoff date. At that time, we're, we're done, and we will go through all of these, we go, and we will... Pick our favorites, and we'll decide it's what's fun, best. Fun and then we, we'll, maybe we'll do a final round or something. We will figure it out. We'll just take it all comers. And we're trying to... We're, this is us trying to do our best to give you the tools to make something that we will accept. That's... I mean, that's how I'm thinking about it. So, you know, fuck it. We got, we got like, six more to go. Akazi, great job. This was awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. But banned. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Peace to be themed. All right. Where the fuck is this? Right. Okay. This next one... Uh, give me a sec. It's for, this is from... Um, Oh wait, this is a meme one. Okay, this one will not be accepted. Should I even wait, play it? Should I even play it? Well, I don't it? know. I don't know until I've heard it. Well, I guess we better play it then and find <laughs> out. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, here we go. Uh, play. Uh, go. It's gonna be retarded. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh wait a minute. It's it's okay. It is it's, it is. Windows. Stop. 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 <laughs> stop. This needs to stop right now. Okay. Okay, stop. Um, it is Windows XP startup sound one million times ear rape warning. That's what that was. All right. I, I, forgive me for wasting okay, time. Okay, yeah. Right. Next. I don't know why that one. was even a question. I, I, I think that was put there as a meme, and I should have known better. All right, so here we go. This is another one. All those years on 4chan. Yeah. Still can't see it coming. I, 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 I uh, think Okay, our maybe. next one is from... Uh, Excellular or at CX7001. All right, this Whoa. is called uh, Welcome to the PCP Dimension. Right. Okay, here we go. Mm. Fucking all right. okay. play right <laughs> now. Go. Oh, wait. I think I have to. Oh, wait. Sorry. I have to you, uh, skip. You, you, really, you really forked it. Hang on. Hang on. Sh here we go. Munchie, shut up. Play. <laughs> Welcome to the PCP Dimension. Where nine souls gather. Find the power deep inside you. Turn it up today. Whoa! It's right Oh you. my god! Just listen to the PCP. Um. That's well, it? I, re I wanted that to was, go on for was, longer. Really like that was the intro to a theme. No. I think. Yeah, wasn't that used before somewhere? I thought it was. Wait. No, no, no. I mean, like, uh -huh. it feels like the intro to a drop that doesn't happen. But I do think... No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. It feels I, like an yeah, intro to yeah. a fucking podcast is what it feels I would like say, an intro to. I would say it isn't really appropriate as what we want. But personally, if I was in charge of a podcast, I would find that so fucking funny what and how fuck? inappropriate it is, I would vote for did, it. Didn't you just get finished saying that a thing can break all the rules, but if you like it, you'll still support it? Well, the, here's the fucking thing. It breaks that all the rules. That was one of the rules. It, That's what I'm saying. What? Dude, Ben, that's literally what I'm saying. I'm saying it's so fucking <laughs> funny and how inappropriate it is, I'll totally use it. I would okay. totally vote for it. I mean, wait, but, why is it but, inappropriate? It's just awesome. <laughs> Guys, this is fucking awesome, I, and it, it, it would be yeah. great. I would be, I mean, I would be, I, I would I be really, happy to have this as, our, as an intro right. to our podcast. Well, I don't think it fits the tone of our show, but I do yes, like it. Yes, it does. It, it is okay. funny. Yes, well, it does. Well, All right. you, okay, I, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, the point is, point is... <laughs> I'm still not super big on it because, like what Hippo said, I was expecting something more. So, like, if this, if this dude could expand it to where after that, it's like 30 seconds of okay. like kick ass, catchy techno. See, that, that I agree with Hippo on that. That's right. what I want. That's too, well, okay. well, well, that, well, hold on, hold on. Whatever. Yeah, it, whatever. Ben, it, it, maybe at the end of the vocals, it kind of burst open into sort I of a bass boom, drop, and then that faded out. Well, into well, the well, hold on, Ben. Yeah. That's the reason. I know 30 seconds is too long. I know 30 seconds is too long. Here's the thing, though: 30 seconds that can then fade out to the podcast. You see, right? Because it would be in a pro it would be weird if it like cuts out all at once and then we start talking. You have it fade out as the talking begins, and thirty seconds gives you enough leverage to use that. You'll probably almost never hear the full thirty seconds yeah, though. True. I mean, yeah, he's just saying to have like a buffer. Uh, yeah, a okay, buffer. so he. he <laughs> let's just yeah, let's call Teddy, Teddy Lloyd. Lloyd let's call up uh, who's that? Who's that uh, guy who just died? That EDM artist guy. Next, all of them. Uh, yeah, let's call, Next. Let's, let's call the Skrillex. Okay, here we go. Next one is from uh, at Sandisky. This one is called uh, PCP Songu hashtag PCP theme. <laughs> and the description says, this one goes out to my homie. That's what it says. <laughs> okay. uh, so let, let, right. let us play it now. Right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Whoa. 
Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, Bokra. I'm all good. Best guy ever. Means Ben Saint. Nice. Adrian Hello. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I actually there really is. like that. <laughs> that was pretty good. I do like. Uh, I, I don't know if I like I mean, it as much as the last one, but I do like well, it. Yeah, I don't like it as much. I mean, it's it's getting closer. I want like that it one. is it is melody focused, but okay, the melody is just one. a little bit too goofy for me. Like it it was kind of cheesy. It's perfect for me. That would be my theme. <laughs> yes, <laughs> whenever I enter the room. What what if we each whoever was hosting the episode had their own PC? Oh theme? God! I mean, all right. Let's let's not let's not open that door. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really fun. Then we could, then we could have, each have well, a separate uh, single for each of our character themes, right? Like an in, 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 in like, each uh, album. There, there was there was a thing that the One Piece episodes did. Every One Piece episode had like a break in the middle with a commercial break, and during those breaks, they would pick one of I think up to nine, uh, like the little uh, intermediate tracks that would play. That would be, and all the all the members of the Straw Hat crew had like a little. There would be an animation of them and their own theme, and uh, yeah. uh, it would be like whoever was like most relevant to that episode mm. generally would be like the Nate, person. Here's mm. what we do. Just saying. Here, we, Okay, we have, to, we have to change and evolve the the PCP okay. thing contest. Here's what we do: you oh, now Christ. have to make nine separate light <laughs> motifs for each character, and they have to fit every light motif into one cohesive track that is both yeah, iconic, you have to do it. subdued, yeah. funny, just quirky, like my boy. You need to make it has to be intelligent and nihilistic. Like so great and powerful. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you know, basically songs, like you know? condense S descend into like thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please do that, all of you, you yeah. fools. <laughs> Uh, g good work, Soriano. Pre appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right, next one's up. This is from uh, at Larkin Loafin Trap or Arkin. Uh, this is what is this one? Just hashtag PCB theme entry. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me fucking disconnect this. Play and go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Another one. Another one for you. Very, very fucking Dude. clever. Guys, I know that I've been I've yeah. been poo pooing yeah. this entire yeah, what? idea and then, and then I'm against it on that every was, level. But that, that was kick yeah, ass. That, that was fucking, fucking cool okay. dope. As hell. Okay. That, oh my god. This is what we've been that. waiting for. This it's, is what was, it's built it's, to. It's not, you all doubted me. I'm sorry I'm sorry to be a downer. It's not that no. I god it's not it. that I don't think that kicked ass, but I do uh -huh. kind of I do kind of mind that it does not reference like what the PCP actually is in any meaningful way. It does like that ruins your life. Oh no, that's what's good. That's why it's good. The PCP well, the is, is such a weird nebulous thing that uh, I think you're such I, like, a the weird way that nebulous they've, thing. <laughs> they've recontext like right. they just referenced yeah, the drug I, PCP. Yeah, and it's the thing, funny. The thing, I, know, I, I, like, I like it. I like it. Somebody sees like okay. somebody okay. sees an okay. episode. But, but of, in, of, if like we're talking thing. about cons, if we're talking pros sure. and cons, for me, sure. a big one big con of it is that okay. it is not about okay, 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 okay. But 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 um, somebody sees like on YouTube, there's this video PCP colon some random topic. Are they going True. to think that uh, with that intro that it's about drugs, even if the yeah, type yes. of okay. drugs is I not think they are. I think they I are. I know you guys have repeatedly brought up that you aren't really fond of the whole reference to drugs. I think it is literally negligible and just a funny goof, and I don't think anyone's going to be confused. Oh my god, a podcast called PCP? Obviously they're talking about this incredibly illegal, dangerous drug. <laughs> that must be what's going on here. No, you're right. Uh, like, I don't think this no, is possible, right but I would love to see if someone can somehow abstractly not, not like hammer it in too much but tie sure, it into the sure. PCP from fucking Bakuman, but there is no Bakuman opening theme because it could never be an anime, so I wouldn't yeah, even know. Yeah. We'll never have a good Bakuman. theme just like the PCP and Bakuman because we'll never be an anime. We're too controversial. What? I'm a total tangent here, but wouldn't it be cool, you guys, if they made a Bakuman OVA where they just animated like all the series? Oh from, my god. Uh, you know, that would be, oh that would be so god. awesome. I would oh. not. I want Otters 11 I was right just going to say I would pay so much money to see Otters 11. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's the best one by far. Um, well, Arkin, I mean, needless to say, uh, incredible. Yeah, like that. Very, I think that was the best one so far. I love uh, it. 
Amazing. <clears throat> Don't fucking yawn Punch at me, you munchies. piece of shit. Go to sleep. Yeah, go to sleep. <laughs> fucking die. <laughs> Munch, if you're going to yawn, no. mute your mic. No. No, I have to stay. I have to drink my coffee. <laughs> here. I, I, I don't me, need my beauty let me fucking, I need my horror scenes so I can scare my little children. Uh, to drink. <laughs> uh, okay, we got another one up. Uh, this one's from... Uh, shit. Who is this one? Fucking Gavin from? Watkins. Uh, Gavin, thank you. Gavin Watkins uh, at Yo, I'm Hydriff. So I guess he's also Hydriff. And here we go. Play immediately. Oh, this is cute. MIDI instruments, hell yes. Oh, yeah, like, well, an, an instrumental I liked it. of an Adventure mm. Time song. Yeah. I would say if I had to pick I any it. of the ones that we've seen so far, I mean, okay, I would go for the, the fucking Dark Island of Nine Souls one, whatever the fuck that one was. But yeah. like, if I had to pick a normal one, like that would be the one I pick. Like, I, I'm not like super great on it, but I'm assuming the person made this specifically reflecting all the things that I was saying I wanted in a the theme and they tried their best. I mean, it's like, possible. I don't think I could, I mean, I couldn't do any fucking better, so well, good job again, there. I like, I like not, it, and it sounds good, but it doesn't, right. it doesn't strike me as a, a right. PCP song. Yeah, yeah, me neither. Uh, but like, it's at least it's at least somewhat in the right direction that I want at least. So uh, like, n not that the tone is wrong or anything. It just it could be a song for a lot of things. Yeah, it could be a song for a lot of things. Yeah, I uh, mean, I don't think it's necessarily yeah. a detour like the fucking Dick Show theme or even like um, John Tron's theme, right? It's become yeah, yeah. his because it's John Tron, not because yeah, it's a super true. distinct that's true. song. That's true. That's that's fair. Yeah. I remember I, I used to be pretty obsessed. I really wanted, like, a theme song. And I kind of have one with, well, for me, a math of it, I guess. Not really anymore. Uh, 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 I wanted one that was, like, like John Tron's. And, like, I, I knew this the whole time. But really it was that, like, I wanted, like, to be famous like John Tron and just have a theme song that, like, was associated with that. It, was, it wasn't, like, anything you know, magical just, about like, the theme. He just theme, fucking you know? grabbed it off of, like, Newgrounds Music Portal. Y you told me that, Ben, and I spent like weeks hunting new grounds because i want to be like john tron and like find a theme on there sick. and like you, it's not bad you can it's go not you bad. can go in there like that's how i found the music for the 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 mm -hmm. champion game that i made i just went in there and i oh, and I found a a artist who had like their music was in there and listed as like yes anyone is allowed to use this music if you give credit and i was like okay sweet it's so awesome yeah it's fucking sick uh Okay, well, we got we got one more for this round, and this is from uh, on their, their YouTube is Leos Enigma. It's called "Should Be Surfing," TPC theme submission. Should be surfing. Wait, what was their? Let me get their Twitter. Doggo uh, of it was uh, Doggo of Power. Thank you, thank you. Okay, here we go and begin. <laughs> I'm heard a lot in my right channel. Yeah. yeah. Not so much in the left. <laughs> You're losing him. Um, hey. Is this, I mean, is there a lot of, am I, am I crazy? Or is there a lot uh, of the same note over and over again? I, you're not wrong. Okay. You're not wrong. Uh, 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 Leos, uh, I think that was a little simplistic for what I'm looking for. Yeah. I mean, would, would you blame me, Leos, my hero, my friend, for, for choosing one of these yeah. other god kings compared to you. I, 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 I will say, I do, offer, no, I'm just kidding, dude. I'm just I kidding. do like, in general, the idea of a podcast intro that employs the aesthetic of a, like, juicily plucked stringed instrument. But it would, sure. I would want it to be about, like, you know, unique notes being played. Like, you know, just a very simple but nice yeah. and distinct melody. I don't and mind. also, that, that aesthetic would never work for a podcast with seven people on it. Well, I don't sure. mind what he was going for, but I don't think the execution was quite there. Uh, it was, you know, he just, he, this guy plucked a guitar. I mean, I, I made demos of guitar stuff when I was practicing. He That's plugged true. it in, he recorded himself, and, you That's know, he true. didn't do anything else to it. So, you know. What's that, one, uh, what's that one fucking improvised, uh, like, ten-second guitar thing by the guitarist from Red Hot Chili Peppers? It's just like, it's just like really good ten seconds of guitar improv. It's so fucking good, I'd put it on a know. podcast, even if the podcast was totally different, so... Be as good as the guy from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Be as good as that guy. Flea. Yeah, well, that'll, that'll it's do it. It's not Flea. It's the other guy. 
Uh, well, guys, all right, that's it. So we're done. That's all of them for today. Now, this was provocative. This was, this was fierce. This was fabulous. Uh, we, these are going into the vault. Uh, and we'll get back to you on the July 1st, or after July 1st, when we, when we have some information about the fucking theme that we'll be using for the, till the end of time. Uh, <laughs> there you go. That's it. Okay, here we go. Ugh, <laughs> time for a fucking fan art section. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited, I'm excited this fucking week. Oh, there's some good stuff, guys. Oh, there's good stuff. I sincerely uh, doubt if there's any no, there's, good stuff. I, I'm, there, there's kind of a, 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 a category that's collective. So before we get to that, let me just highlight these two. The first is from Gyaku Shell. Uh, guys, just go to the fan art thing. You'll, you'll see it there. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this fucking Radcon 3 it's arena so arch. Oh it's yeah. Pretty legendary. Incredible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This yes. one's fucking incredible. It's uh, fucking all of us in our like intro poses Munchies that cry. give so beautifully animated. Why is Munchie crying? I was wondering that. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I, I absolutely love school shooter aesthetic Gib in these. It's, it's great. It's, it's fantastic. And me looking absolutely devilish. In the uh, absolutely devilish. God, this is so beautiful. This is like so good. And you, did you notice I he redrew the whole Radcon Radcon logo? Oh, like he man. redrew it himself. Like he didn't just use it. Oh my yeah. God! It's fucking and Ben looking great because Tommy he can't see his face. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Tom looking Who's... also pretty school shootery. Uh, mm -hmm. Excellent. Or that he's just about to to slag some cryptos in fucking Halo Three. If you know what I'm saying. Dude. I don't know Hell what yeah. you're saying. I cannot, well, don't I cannot worry about parse it. your words. <laughs> and and of course uh, also Digi's there. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> next image. Uh, before we okay, th this is the one I wanted to point out. Um, I'll put this in the fucking uh, in the main chat here, just so you can see it. This one of just of Ben living the alternative lifestyle uh, as requested yeah. in last week's I episode. Didn't, why didn't why didn't, he <laughs> add, why didn't he add me with this? I, he, well, he just uh, put it at the because I mean, he listened to the episode obviously. At, it's also like, ugly, yeah. you punks. By the way, this is this is uh, at ill die three fourteen. Oh wait, maybe he dude. Ill yeah, die. I would. This I'll is die. fucking. This is true art. I would, I would legit frame this. This is excellent. <laughs> I like just, how he explains like, I, it I think with we just words said, like, and doesn't show it. Yes, well, it's that's because what's there's so nothing going on here. Yes. That's what makes it beautiful. It's yes. Just, what does it mean to live the alternative? Yeah. Life? So it is in fact <laughs> just, indistinguishable. It's pretty, from a it's just sit backwards on an invisible defined. chair. Like the alternative lifestyle is pretty much yeah. defined by whatever it is that I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, and it gives gives right. It it means to lean against an invisible chair. Back. That's what it means. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's because you're uh, you're so poor. You just have to pretend you have a chair uh, for sitting uh, in the first place, and you, your high tier fourth dimensional consciousness manifested out of nothing. <laughs> in, uh, incredible. Proud. I'm incredible. proud of myself. These are these are great. I love that one. Okay, now we're getting into the themed section of okay. our program oh, here. Oh yes. All right, guys. So we went, we mentioned this before. Oh my god. The God's the idea one. of the violent violence has uh has really taken off, and a bunch of fan art has been drawn at our request of Mage uh slaying in vicious <laughs> gang warfare and being the leader in a in a third, third tribe world we know post war uh post apocalypse <laughs> a hellscape that is Lithuania. <laughs> in, indeed. So I never knew that Lithuania was an extension of endless war, but yeah. apparently yeah, it is. God. It definitely is. It's definitely okay. So look at this first mm -hmm. one. Some Link's like corrupted art. purple slime leaked over there and shit went really bad. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, totally. Okay, so look at look at the first one I linked there. Links for art. Okay. So this is I think the first one we got. Um already look at that JoJo power pose mage yes. and her mm -hmm. nail covered bat. The I so okay, the now if I'm reading this correctly, that's, so she, that's very her, endless war right there. With, the nail with her light purple there, that's the violet violence versus the indigo interlopers or whatever the fuck we called them. Uh that that's the ones who are yeah. dead on the bottom. Yeah, I'm Am guessing. I wrong? Yes. Is that right? It must Man, be. I okay. really, really wish I'd been on the fighting <laughs> podcast. It sounds like well, it was a great time. Let's it was good it. stuff. God damn it. Oh. And the tiger's oh, 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 well. so it was in the fighting episode where the whole mage's mm. violent thing took off and yeah. became yes. its own lore. Oh, okay. Yes. It's true. It's true. We went on uh, lengthy discussions deepened. about mage's, like, brutalities. <laughs> well, that's good. Mage was the only one on the fighting podcast who actually fought <laughs> It's a true. Lot. It's true. I'm, I'm glad that I finally fucking incited a good PCP meme by, like, at, by bringing this up because I remember two years ago I was the one mm. who fucking sent JC off about the yellow thing. Well, wasn't it Tom who said literally yeah. the violent violence? I believe I did coin the term, but Mage was the one did. who gave it life. So well, this I mean, one course, by Lynx is my favorite PCP fan art ever. It's so dynamic. 
It's I uh, love Mage's pose here. Oh, uh, Lynx is amazing what at like. Killer. What's up with the tigers? Are tigers oh, a thing? <laughs> Were they no, a no, thing no. from the discussion? Yes. yes. Uh, like um, yes. I, I said, like that's, that's true. Actually, listen back. <laughs> Not gonna. Yeah, should I, 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 we don't want we should ruin saying. it for you here. Okay, you really, okay. you really got to experience will, right. in line. Yeah. Right. It's a great if, if I wasn't, like, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Go Mage's uh, Lynx's art is so good at like carefully controlled derpiness. Like the derpy look on Mage's face in the center is it. perfect. Uh, her incredible <laughs> dominant pose, it's amazing. And yeah. I just love how she's just so like plainly feminine as well, which is like a plain yeah, like was, uh, skirt. Yeah, and, I like, like that a lot. So it's cute. just it's so. She looks yeah, like it's a, very a, cute. She looks like a girl who like goes to school, but then like on her way home from school, she picks up her bat and you know un- yeah. takes her tigers. It's, it's fucking. It's, it's like in the. It's like in fucking like Japanese manga and shit. Yeah, like, exactly. You've got just like cute girls who are also badasses, you know. Generally, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good it's aesthetic. So cute, I love it. Uh, all right, well, this one's a winner, obviously. Uh, way to fucking go, links for art. This is the best one. Okay. Wait a minute. Maybe those are lynxes because this person's a lynx. I mean, I don't fucking know. Okay, anyway. hard, to say. Hard, to say. I, I, uh, hard to say. Okay, so the next one is from uh, Never Paint. Uh, let me link it fucking here in the main thing. This one's and fucking intense too, dude. It's on yeah, paper. this one yeah, is, it is also it's on paper. Yeah, oh it's on paper. God. Yeah, yeah. This is traditional. Yes. It done with like. This is. Fuck- Dumb this is like, also my new favorite PCP fan art of all time. It's also, if you look at the like, pens, it's not very big. That's, like, drawn pretty small, and they yeah, got all that true. detail that's in. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty um, impressive. Uh, I, 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 excuse me, um, but you did not use the correct the hexadecimal value for Mage's artwork. Um, I would please like it if you would correct this, please. Oh, I am Lethal Aurora no. Mage. Please do not disrespect me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. right. You got it. You <laughs> didn't, you didn't go out you. and buy the hexadecimal you, pens that yeah, you can get tiny. correct right. hexadecimal values. So there's a lot of details in this one, and I think a lot of them are references. Like, I see a drug needle, I think, and I remember her referencing drug needles in oh, the yeah, childhood yeah. episode. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit, I didn't even there's know. There's also yeah. what looks to be like there's maybe a like a love the ground, hotel or a prostitution like house a in the back. Like skull vandalism, skull graffiti over there. Skull right, spiders. but there's also so like, sick. there's also a building that has a flag out with like a heart. It, I'm assuming it's like a, a whorehouse or maybe a, a love brothel house. Or a brothel, well, that's yeah. kind of presumptuous. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, as Ben with his heart avatar, obviously a prostitution. <laughs> yeah, please. No, no. Quit, you know. quit heart shaming. But but oh, for his fellow sign. heart users. The stop uh, sign that I threw stones at. Oh. Is that Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Is that Wait. is that a Lithuanian stop sign I don't though? Is that what they look but like? I or recognize something? it as a stop sign. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yes. Yeah, okay. So, sorry, not a stop sign, the sign. But it was a triangle, hmm. sorry. I I didn't mean it as a I just uh, okay, I just okay. got so excited about the I sign. Like, you know you know what that sign says? It's got a black dot in the a danger. Rocks will be thrown at this sign. <laughs> Watch <laughs> out. Yeah, the sword's oh, yeah. amazing. Um like yeah, so both, both Never Paint and Lynx are on my fucking Rolodex. If I want to sh- go around shopping people to like hire, commission people to do illustrations for something in some point uh, in my career, like these people yes. are, are top on my fucking also list, the bro. Bugs, Definitely. because I like bugs. Yes. <laughs> The bu- it's very nuanced in its in its references. There's Gotta... so much going on there. I'm, I'm actually it's so dense. There's, There's so much going on. There's so much going on. The yoyos were the shit. Like I never owned a yo-yo. I always wanted a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking dope, I just, dude. I just uh, love how like it's all like it's fucking wrecked. Like yeah. there's all these. Yes. This is just like wrecked it's so buildings. So cool. Yeah. It's so cool. This is urban yeah. wreckage. Um, like it cool. absolutely is. Uh, so okay, next one is from our boy L1 Cass Lou with some underscores. Uh, whatever. Fucking s- links. L- lanes lines as Mo. Oh right. Or AKA Slames. Whatever. He's yeah. <laughs> We got the post Cold War Tigress. More yes. tiger memes. Excellent. And I, I hope he doesn't feel bad that like we've we're taking him after the two like masterpiece arts. Like this is good. Like you know. I hope he doesn't feel too shown out. up. But the, like this the, is pretty cool. The expression is really good. The expression is great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Slames Slames has like a very like rough like pen. I, style I quite like it. Very, like, mm-hmm. It goes with the theme. I I like how in the background it sort of looks like mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. the paints coming off. Sort of sort of that sort of look. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Oh, it's, it's got a that tiger. grungy look. Oh, it's it's yeah. It's a, yeah, tiger, it's a tiger superimposed yeah. over yeah. it. Yes. Oh, okay, I didn't notice uh, that before. Those eyes are intense. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's using uh, his Photoshop skills to great effect. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So true. <laughs> Well, I, I don't have much more to say about this. I love the, the goofy but city I, in the background. But, okay, and we I think we... Mage just posted this one in the thing. Uh, they, they always seem to roll in right around when we're recording. We get a bunch more. Well, fine. they know we're but recording. Look, it's time. Look at this one. Is it this from last one? At Miski. From Miski. Miski's really good, and Dude. I fucking love this. 
Fucking solid snake mage, urban warfare killer. Just <laughs> just... Fucking Whoa, incredible. Whoa, shit. I was, I was wondering yeah. if this was... I just love how there's just... Oh, uh, yeah, this, like... There's that. just so many different ways we to did interpret reference Metal the same Gear. thing, right? Like, it's all the same concept, we but people did have these very different all the same Yeah, because at one point, ba- Mage gets banned from her neighborhood and has to sneak <laughs> around everywhere, and Hippo specifically said, it's now Metal Gear, and here it is. <laughs> I, oh shit! I, you uh, know what I love? I love the I like colors. The so I good. The, yeah, the orange and purple. Yeah, the contrast orange and of the purple. purple in the foreground, mm-hmm. and then the yellow, the or, yellow orange yes. in the background, and then the yellow on mage. Pops I really well. like the light Dude, coming so through good. the tire swing. Just... Mhm, mhm. It's, it's, it's all it's quality sunset. shit. It's probably yeah. <laughs> I like the mage posters. See, okay, now there. Wait, yes. wait, wait. Oh, that is mage. Oh, mage oh, you're, posters? Oh, yeah, yeah, on yeah. the trees. There's one She's not allowed in our neighborhood anymore. She ratted us out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I get it. I, I, I thought mm. that was somebody's feet with a white sheet draped over their body like a Ku Klux Klan member. No. That's where my brain went. All. Well, that is, says a lot about your brain, Nate. Um, <laughs> Indeed it does. Indeed it does. <laughs> Too many now, clan uh, meetings, dude. You just outed yourself. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've been outed. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Uh, okay, let me actually, we just got another one five minutes ago from Asha AM. Oh, oh God. God. Classic. Yeah. All right. Here we go. L- oh, my God. You're going to love this one, Mage. Fuck. Just click on the link because there's several pictures here. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. Po- These are so fucking adorable. Are you adorable. posting it in the main chat? This is in the main okay, chat. Well, I just posted I need to click it. On the just take a look at the Twitter. Okay. Oh my god, this is so adorable, Asha. I fucking Whoa. love it. So this first one's almost like Lolita. Like, oh my god. Fucking third yeah, it world. Is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is these are. Uh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> this is fantastic. I know. I know. Oh, I know. These are adorable. Oh. Mage, why have you not joined Endless War? <laughs> I don't want to fight. Because she's too powerful. She's got her own gang. She doesn't want to have to bring the violent gang violence. Gang warfare childhood. That, yeah, that's that's definitely that's actually canon. That's oh, true. So that's true. Cute. We established. That. I like the, the last one. Oh, I like so the very cool. last. Yeah. yeah, the grin is so good. I, I gotta chastise you though, stuff. Asha. You you did not uh, use hashtag uh, PCP fan art, so I almost missed these. I just happened to uh, yeah, find them. So be yeah. careful, everybody. Who knows how many hashtags. millions and it's millions right. of pieces of PCP <laughs> fan art go unread every single day because people <laughs> fail to hashtag them properly. You gotta watch out, Doc. You gotta watch out for that. Well, great job, Asha. Fucking beautiful. Yeah, Love. kick ass. I just want to say thank you to well, everyone. I'm, I'm honestly overwhelmed. This is just so, uh, so nice and so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. I mean, this is, a, this is an incredible. Meme. Yeah, just the idea is so fucking amusing <laughs> for me that, like, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, it's it's the classic, you know, fucking anime trip of like badass little girl. It's just divinely inspired by being actually kind of true. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> God damn, this is so fucking good. Well, I mean, on this fucking high note, uh, that's it, guys. We're out of fan art. We're out of everything. That's it for this fucking episode. Okay. So uh, get out there. Make us more. Hashtag PCP fan art. Send it on Twitter. Hashtag PCP themes. Also on Twitter and shit. Uh, and just get the right fuck to work. Make I hope y'all shit. appreciate what, what I go it. through you to make my... Uh... <laughs> Aww. I hope y'all like the fact I'm in the closet so there's not that much echoing because I am so sweaty. It smells like an entire bathroom here just because of me. (laughs) (laughs) That's some Uh, performance art right there. Here's some fan art for you. Hashtag diarrhea (laughs) devoo. Everybody go out there and make us fan art. No, no, no. no, It's just just because of sweat and BO. No, no. Hashtag devoo, sweaty devoo in the closet. There we go. No, no. We cannot. We cannot. We cannot. Not force these things. <laughs> You're right. They have to happen naturally. All right. Thanks for being here, everybody. Hey, uh, uh, you like money. We like money. Give us your money. Uh, Patreon.com slash The Procrastinators Podcast. No, wait. It's just The Procrastinators. Right? Patreon.com? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're pissing me off. Oh, Patreon.com <laughs> slash The Procrastinators. That's what Thank it is. Thank you. $1. You're in our bonus lounge. We will see you. You're cool. You hang out with us. It's all fun. $5. You get... All, I think we're up to 15 bonus episodes. Jesus Christ, please stop. No more. Uh, <laughs> thanks. We've had enough photo. Please, don't, don't do it, guys. Uh, $5 and you're in there. Uh, yeah. Have a good time. Follow us at TB Krasnitz on Twitter. Uh, more videos coming. A couple more Radcon things to get out. Hope that you enjoyed the fucking Rad Shot video. If you have not watched that, go watch it. What are you doing? It's like the best thing to come out of Radcon. Except, of course, for Dan Soft Toilet Seat. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Thanks for watching, that everybody. Just, uh, d- what? Uh, fucking... What? Uh, 10 paces. Fucking 10 paces. I keep forgetting. Oh my god. 10 paces and draw. I have to edit 10 paces. 
It's, ben, I, guess you can do it, buddy. I do haven't it. forgotten. I haven't forgotten. Okay, well, that makes me feel better, because there's something I'm working on as well. Like, two things. That uh, as long as everything's not out except for that, I'll feel I'm better about myself. say goodbye but, uh, to we'll... It's time to say yes. goodbye, everybody. Thanks for being here. We will see you next time. <laughs> goodbye. 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 Oh, I get out of the fucking closet. Deep inside you, turn it up to the 8th degree. It's right in front of you, can't you see? Just listen to the PCP.